yet? Well, we're live here. I think we're live. Hold on a second. I think we're live. We're back. Oh, we're back. Okay. Wait a minute. I don't know what I'm looking at anymore. Bad. It was my stream went down because there's thunderstorms going down. Do you think it was because of me? Um, don't know. It says bad. What? What's bad? Okay. What says bad? When it, at the top it says okay. status stream bad. Oh. Maybe it's your internet. Yeah, but yeah, because there's a bunch of like fucking uh, thunderstorms. Is that thunderstorms going on in New York? I wonder if that has anything to do with it. Thunderstorms never killed anyone. Yeah, thunder, thunder never called sh cost shit into anybody. Um, are we live right now? I think I put We're us live. live. I don't know. We are live. All right, so uh, it, I got uh, electric boogaloo. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, that was weird. Sounds great. That's the ticket. Hammer of Thor. All right, we're fucking back, baby. We're back. Cool. Let me pull it up on my. Where are we gonna get Kelsey? Anna, I'm. What do you guys call him? <laughs> I feel. Hmm. I, I blame honestly. I don't. And I, I hate to blame the woman because it, honestly, it's, what did I do? <laughs> you, 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 it's Kelsey. You, he's gone. He passed out. You didn't take off your shoes or your shirt or anything. I'm not even wearing shoes. Well, if you would have just rubbed your bare foot on the camera, I feel like that man. Uh, would be I don't need to like scar everyone for life with my like oh, weird great. alien feet. It's not for me. I'm not. A, I'm not into feet. But I feel Kelsey would have been. It would have been just the catnip he needed to stay awake a little longer. Uh, yeah, maybe you should consider getting. I don't like, even see this on here. You're maybe you should. Maybe you should consider getting an X-ray for um, your missing liver. Yeah. Kidney. Or kidney. Kidney. Yeah. No, I, I had to have like a full body scan like four years ago for something, and that's how I found out. Because I, I asked them, I was like. Oh, like my brother was born at the kidney. Since I'm getting this anyway, like you're going to scan everything. Can you tell me if I have one or not? Or both of them? And they looked at me yeah, like I was crazy and they did it. And they're like, oh, you don't. And I was like, oh, cool. All right. So in Portugal, what you're trying to say is that it's very common for generations to never breed outside of their bloodline. Uh, this is, is my mom's side. My mom is not Portuguese. She's Scandinavian. Uh, well, listen, you have web feet and one kidney. I'm thinking there's a lot of inbreeding going on. No, I think it's just birth defects. Because, I mean, uh, the whole tear duct thing, that's like a genetic thing that's passed down from my mother's side. And my mom tries to blame it on her husbands who father her children. And I'm just like, well, mom, the one common factor is you with all of your children. Yeah. Yeah, moms, it's your blame mom. It is her fault. I I'm, I don't mean to sound like a ghoul, but I'm dying to see your children. Mine? <laughs> yes. I'm not going to have children. Why not? Um, what I if mean, they came out like the elephant man, Cecil? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? You're not having kids? Why not? Um, I just... I would never want to put a child through what I've been through. So it's just. You don't have to abuse your children just because. I, I know, them. but I'm just like, what What if something happens to me? Yeah, you don't have I'm to not, shoot your kids. You don't. Yeah. yeah. I know, but what if something yeah. happens to me and I'm not there to protect them? Oh my God. That. No, Anna, have That's a kid. That's why I found a guy that already has a kid. Anna, go have kids. And it's painful. Oh, that's it? Because you don't want to actually have a kid? Well, no. It's it's a lot of things. It's just... I, I'm not ready to have kids. Maybe one day, but not now. Anna. What? Look who's talking, Cecil. How many kids you got? I don't know. I don't, I don't think anyone here has children. John, you don't Zero. have kids, do you? Zero. Just the puppy? I don't want any of those rugrats running around here. Yeah, but I, I but but listen, I've take a good look at your face, my face, and Anna's face. She should procreate, not us. And then you know, because some people have like you know weird looking kids. What if I just have like a weird looking child? Yeah, yeah. your kid might very well might only have half a head. 
<laughs> yeah. Like what about like Bruce Willis's kids? Like he married a beautiful woman and all his kids look like jughead monsters. Mm. Yeah, it's true. That's well, true. I mean, look at Kylie Jenner. It just proves that I mean you're not ugly, you're just poor. Mm. Kylie Jenner is good looking, no? Well, she fixed herself. She was no Bruce Willis daughter. Those, those girls have jug heads. Oh, they can fix it. No one can fix that. Yes, they can. Oh, look, his daughter was in House Bunny. She was pretty in it once they like gave her the makeover. I right, hold on a second. Go look at it. Rebel Wilson or what? Yeah, Rebel Willis and House Bunny before and after. Right, let me just do a, a quick chat. Uh, uh, how many people think Anna should have a baby? <laughs> Oh my god. I'm too we, young to have a baby. We need B for baby. Should Anna have a baby, even if it's a freakish mutant, which no no doubt it will be, obviously. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be a freakish. No, I, I always say I have, I, if I have a baby, I want it to be for like baby, B for baby. Should no. Anna have a baby? Even if Wait, everyone be, says no. Everyone is saying no. It might be a monster. As long as it looks like my boyfriend where it will be good, but and no, I don't want a baby. Even if it's a girl and it's born with a beard? No, his daughter is beautiful. I, I, look at all the bees. Get out there. Come on. No. I, I, why would I have? I, I'm still paying off college. I don't even own a house yet. I can't have a baby right now. You got to get go. married, young lady. Go to fucking the shop. Yeah, don't don't, don't listen to Cecil. Home. You're right. You need to get all that debt knocked out. And no. You're, you're not going to do it, especially in Southern California. Um, Wait a minute! You don't make any money from your YouTube channel, aren't you? I make money, but Cecil, I owe I owe over two hundred grand for college. What? Yeah. I feel like you should be a lot smarter for two hundred thousand. I'm sorry. Excuse me, I'm <laughs> feeling smart. Uh, it's just very expensive to go to art school in San Francisco, and during the time I was going to art school, my parents were in a really messy divorce. And so my father, I let him use my student loans so that way he could pay off, you know, all the stuff for the divorce. So I owe even more because of the interest that built up. All right. So, we have, I have, I have a super chat from TLJ Russian bot. He says, Anna can have kids because she's a man, baby. Um, trust me, I can have children. I just don't, I'm not ready to yet. Okay, Joseph Aldridge says Anna needs money. I wish I could share these super chats with her, but I can't because I'm so 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 selfish. No, you keep your super chats. I'll I'll have my own on. I my wish channel. I could. Honestly, I wish I could. I just don't have it in me to ever <laughs> ever write a check to anyone. Um, <laughs> hold on. Uh, let me read. This is from the last stream. I have to finish everybody off. Malin, when do we get tank heist from Cal Hungus? I, I'm pretty sure we did that one. Uh, 2020. If Mirror it happens, Danny DeVito is four inches, but he's 12 inches wide. I think that was for Anna. Chief uh, <laughs> Berger for 2.99 says, "Any update on Buick Starpoon? No, but I I I, I keep in touch with us. Uh, Steve Williamson is that his name? I keep in touch with him." And I will, uh, I will have them on. Yeah, Buick Starpoon is always on my mind. Snow Tap for five dollars says, "Check your Twitter mentions for the complete ver of that Cecil art." Sorry, I boomered my first post. Also, thank you for showcasing my art. No problem. All right, so that's the end of the last streams chat. And now we're on new ones, and that is where they were accusing Anna of not being able to have a baby because she's a man. Anna, any chance you're a man? No. You know what? I, normally, I would believe somebody when I said that, but you didn't even know you had two, you know, one kidney till you were like 25 years old. Uh, no, I'm not even 25 yet, Cecil. Hmm. No, I, I found out about the one kidney thing when I was 19. My brother didn't find out until he was in his 30s. And so that's when I asked, you know. Joseph Aldred for $1.99 says, Cecil is life. And he's also a fat drunk. How dare you, Joseph Aldred? <laughs> I don't need that. Yeah. I don't need that. Yeah, that's cold-blooded. Yeah. We don't need that in this house. Uh, Mace one dude severed arm wants to know if we can get a GoFundMe to find Kelsey. 
Now we don't, don't need a, we need a GoFundMe for him, not a <laughs> GoFundMe. He's in the swamps, man. We were lucky to have him while we did. And I blame you. You should have pulled your feet, you know, your feet out. My feet? I, I don't I don't think the world is ready for my feet. Yeah, just based on your guys' reaction in private to my feet, it's just yeah. Well, I'm not a feet guy. Maybe if I was like a feet guy, I'd be, I would have been more encouraging. Mm. Yeah, but for Kelsey, that's like chum in the water. Yeah. You got you can't always think about yourself, Anna. Sometimes you got to think about Kelsey and what he needs to keep Kelsey uh. around. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was watching the Star Trek, so I'm sad that it's gone. Yeah. Anna, can you just like you know, hmm. jog around a block a couple times and mail him your socks. No. You so wouldn't get there for like jog? three days or overnight. You want me to work out? Hell no. So what's he supposed to do for drinking water? He hmm. lives in a swamp. There's water everywhere. It rains like all the time. Not the same. Yeah, it is. Uh, Matt Becker for two dollars says, "Cecil, you're a shell of a man." I love it. Love it. Okay, oh. I have to pee. I'll be right back. All right. All right. Uh, uh, Joe go. Anna, says, Anna is a mutant for $1.99. I agree. Well, I think that's fact. I don't think that's questionable. No, I, John, honestly, we have picked that skeleton clean and she still comes back with, I was born with one kidney today. <laughs> uh, honestly, I don't know. I know, even, man. It's, it's crazy. It's, fucking insane like we have literally got bullets out of her body we've got webbed toes we've got smoke coming out of her tear ducts we've had every fucking thing you can imagine and today she just nonchalantly says oh yeah i was born with one kidney and we're just like i i'm waiting i know she can teleport at this point yeah she's a medical oddity for sure <laughs> They should probably put her in a museum. If uh, Indiana Jones was after, he'd probably kill her family just so it he could put her in a belongs in a museum. Mm -hmm. She belongs in the Spanish collection, even though she's Portuguese. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't get me started on those Portuguese. Did you see the uh did you see the that Team USA women's soccer destroyed uh whatever China? Uh, today? No, like uh, a few days ago in Thailand, uh, when it was I thirteen to zero, World Cup, World Cup, I think is what it is. Thirteen to zero, they beat so Thailand. Watered them. They had a mercy. They had a mercy them. Well, it just shows you because no men go into soccer in the United States at all. But, but but soccer in the United States for women is a top sport. So. Oh, is it more popular, women's soccer? Women's soccer, soccer is a top sport for women. But for men, it's like, hey, if you're a super athlete, you go into one, basketball, two, football, three, baseball, four, lacrosse, five, soccer. soccer. So they're, get, they're getting fifth-tier athletes for men. But for women, the top two sports for women are probably women's basketball, women's soccer. Look at so this. Spirits, Spirits Car says John watches women's sports. What a fruit. Does <laughs> anyone else see the the strangeness of that? Anyone? No, I see it. I watch women's I sports. Too. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna stop on a random sporting event, it's gonna be chicks. I like around and beach I like beach yeah. volleyball for women. Yeah, that too. Oh, but anyways, so today they were playing Sweden, but I don't know if uh, Sweden got smoked or not, but I hope they did. Probably. The women's team is their beast. But did yeah. you guys see Portugal? Portugal kills it. Uh-uh. Not, not the women. The Portugal men. women? No, the man. Oh, no. Of course not. No, the Portuguese women were disqualified for having uh, insufficient organs. <laughs> <laughs> Happy the Scandinavians. Scandalous. Steve. Forget about Scandinavian. Scandalous. Uh, mm. It looks like USA beat Sweden two to zero. USA kills it yeah. for women's team. Men not so much. Right. Anna, what is your ovary to testicle ratio? 
Um, I don't have testicles, so I just I have two ovaries. So, so. two, to, two, to, two, two, to, two, to two to zero. Two to zero. zero. That's good. That's that's good. That's why. That's, no, it's a solid stat. We're listen. I, we have dissected you, and only tonight did me and John find out we, you had were born with one kidney. You guys haven't even like tipped the iceberg. Um, how many bones are in the female body, and how many do you have? Anna. I have more than the average person. How many teeth do you? <laughs> oh my god! You guys want to hear something crazy about my teeth? No. <laughs> okay, so here's the funny story. I go to the. I'm like terrified of the dentist because my uh, mother. Do you have 32 teeth? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you got to hear the story. All right, so. My entire life, my mother, my uh, my dentist has been my mother's cousin, and he's fucking evil. Like the embodiment of Satan is my dentist, and he knows I'm afraid of needles. So every single time before, like he would make an announcement to the entire staff, be like, "Oh, Anna's here. We got a screamer," and I'm like absolutely horrified because it's like you know, the, the red room of pain type of thing when I go to the dentist and he likes to show me the needles before he like stabs them into my mouth and they're giant needles. Like they're bigger than my head and he's, you know, giving me shots in my mouth and I have extra nerves. So for each normal person, I'm going to tell you. Why do you have extra nerves? Okay. Okay. You guys, you have to listen to the story. So for each normal person, for when you're getting a shot in your tooth, it takes one shot to numb your tooth, right? takes me five per tooth. Oh. So my entire life has been hell going to the dentist. So once I became an adult, I was like, fuck this. I'm not going to the dentist. And then my wisdom teeth started coming in. I was like, oh shit, this hurts. Like I need to go to the dentist. And so finally I went to the, I waited until my mom's cousin retired. And I was like, fuck yeah, Satan's gone. Like the witch is dead type of thing. So I go to the dentist and this dentist isn't used to me. So he doesn't know. So I go into the dentist and they're like, Oh, please, guys, don't judge me because I didn't go to the dentist for like four years. I had 13 cavities. And uh, so he goes to go fix my teeth. And I was telling him, I was like, I'm really afraid of needles. And even like the hygienist that's known me since I was a child, she's like, no, you don't understand. Anna is horrified of needles. And so he's like, oh, okay, it's going to be fine. He goes to give me the shot. And I'm like clenching. I'm like, no. No, no. And I was like, if you bring that next to my mouth, I will bite you. And he's like a younger dentist because he just started. And so he does he doesn't know. He goes and gives me one shot, then he starts drilling on my tooth and I freak out because it hurts because I can still feel it. And so I go and I like bite and then I, I almost break his little tool thing that's going. And then he just doesn't understand why my teeth aren't getting numbed because he's giving me all the shots. And so he's like, I don't know what to do. So he's like, I need to numb your entire like head. So he gave me like this intense shot and it, it hurt so bad. It was the biggest needle I've ever felt and I can feel it. So he gives me a shot that like numbs my, like my neck and my entire face. And then finally he's like, I can still feel it. And he's like, this should have numbed. Like he doesn't understand why my like teeth are still feeling it when he's already numbed. Like I can't even like move it. I can't feel anything. And he's like, you shouldn't be able to feel anything. Why can you still feel this? So he calls up my old dentist and he's like, Hey, I, I, I have this patient that you might know. And I'll like, he's my mom's cousin. He knows who I am. And he's just like, yeah, it's Anna. And he's like, Oh, it's Anna. And I could hear the dentist laughing. And he's just like, yeah, he's like, yeah, she's got extra nerves. He's like, you, you need to gas her and you need to give her extra shots. And <laughs> <laughs> and so he goes through and he has to give me extra shots on all my teeth. So it's five shots per tooth. Take in mind, I have 13 cavities. And then he does the x-rays to see my, uh, my wisdom teeth. And my mouth, I'm a very small person and my head is really small. So I have to have the child size uh, little things that they put in. You know, they put the whole like sheet over you and they, they take the picture. So the child size, it, it doesn't work. And I keep gagging and getting like, and it keeps like coming out because it doesn't fit. And so they can't take a picture. And especially since I'm already numb, so it's not working, but they're trying to get the pictures of my wisdom teeth. Come to find out, he thought, oh, maybe it's just the pictures are messed up. No, this is actually what happened. One of my, you're supposed to have wisdom teeth on the bottom and on the top. On this side, there's no wisdom tooth up here. 
on this side there's two and one of them is growing in above all the others and breaking the roots of all my teeth jeez so it's not going to break the skin or like the gums it's literally going over and breaking so all of my teeth have been hurting like crazy like you know when you chew on something and when you have a cavity it's like it shoots up and you can feel like the sharp pain mm -hmm. This, it's like all of my teeth, but I'm like, why does my mouth hurt so bad when I, you know, try to eat food? Like I can't eat meat on this side of my mouth because it hurts so bad. And it's because all of the tops are breaking. So he's like, you need to have surgery. And I was like, nope, nope. And he's like, well, he's like, if you don't, like all of your teeth are going to break and you're going to have to get all new teeth. And I was like, fuck. So yeah, I if had you were born in Sparta, they would have thrown you off the cliff. No, because they would have known. They've been it like, to boys, not to girls. Like I didn't have any physical deformities that you could tell when I was a baby. But no, yeah, that, that, that's my story about my dentist. And I actually, I just went and he's like, so you still haven't gotten your wisdom beat out? And I was like, nope. And he's like, you need to do that. And I was like, yeah, maybe. But uh, Max Hammer says, Anna is the new Nurkish. Every story is the saddest story you will hear. <laughs> yeah, his were not kind of dark. His were all kind of darkly funny about his whatever insane family i guess oh um, yeah i think mine are funny i can make jokes out of them yeah well uh mr v says uh was anna born near chernobyl no i was born in california so very far from chernobyl okay good uh, matt hayes for 499 says i was born in the same hospital as george lucas there oh. you go Hmm. Fun fact. Yeah. We are looking forward to your big giant toad neck. Uh Matt Hayes for 49 <laughs> says Oh the uh, George Lucas uh chin. Yes. It's uh, not even that bad when you see it in person. Poor George. Anna's mm -hmm. dentist likes to shoot her up even just for routine cleanings. <laughs> Wake up in dentist chair. Mm, I thought I wore a bra. Wow. Dark, what? Dark, <laughs> dark turn from Mark Hayes. Uh, Jeg for $2 says, how the hell did you get 13 cavities? I didn't go to the dentist for four years, and I eat chocolate like nobody's business. Yeah, like nobody's business and mm. none of your business. Now, most of the chat wants to know if you'll put your feet on camera right now. No. I'm just kidding. No one was asking. <laughs> uh, in, in the news, on, on <laughs> Yahoo headlines, it said Trump ordered Iran strike, then called it off. But in other news, it said Mila and Ashton, quote, it's over between us. Good. What? Mila? Which one uh, is she? What's her name? Mila <laughs> Meg. <laughs> Oh, Meg? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, Ashton Kutcher finally figured out that he was banging Meg. Yeah. How many times are you going to get in an argument with her and go, shut up, Meg? Yeah. No, it's Jackie from that 70s show. And I liked him better with Demi Moore. Why? Like his grandma. I don't care. I like Demi Moore. Hmm. Yeah. There you go. She was the voice of Esmeralda in The Hunter. I have a very funny story from tonight that kind of fits in with this. Mm -hmm. I have a friend of mine who's you know, quite a bit older than I am, and he's like in his early 50s, and he got a divorce. No. And he's like, he started dating. Oh, I can't even tell the story because it's so. No, tell it. He's yeah, not going to know. <laughs> I I made a really bad joke and it embarrassed him in front of everybody. Okay, tell us now. If you already told other people, you need to tell us. It was such a thing. It was so he's like I don't know, fifty three years old. It's, I mean, it's older than me. I'm in my late thirties, but I mean, I don't feel like he's that much older than me because I'm in horrible shape. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like I feel like I'm in the shape of a normal like 53 year old. <laughs> but, um, he got into a divorce. His his wife is beautiful. I know him, his wife, and she's he's and we were just like out with the boys tonight. And we're drinking and um, we started to ask like, "Who are you dating?" 
and he's like, oh, I'm dating someone new. And we're a norm, a normally obviously thought, okay, he's 52. He's dating someone 32. And it came out he was dating someone 68. And we start, and we immediately just started attacking him, laughing. And it was brutal. It was so brutal. And then one of my friends, this is this is not this is PG thirteen or at least PG forty six. The next thing is my friend said to him, um, "So like when you're fucking her, is it like really dry?" And he goes, "No way, man. She's a gusher," which made me sick to my stomach. And then. Somebody, my other friend, which I'm, I'm embarrassed that I didn't make the joke, but my other friend goes, "Oh, so she's old faithful." And we all just started fucking laughing so hard, and 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 he just turned red, and we just did not stop making fun of him for like an hour, and uh, it was really horrific, and uh, it was a good time for us but not for him and uh yeah apparently when you turn 52 you will bang a 68 year old but i will not do that i promise i swear to everybody but and this guy's better looking than i'll ever be i don't understand why he's doing it no yeah. it happens anyway maybe he's hard up for cash and maybe she's got cash she does she takes him on these insane vacations she's very rich yeah Wow. Oh, there you go. He's got a sugar Neon bottle. Pandora says gushers are the best candy. <laughs> it's terrible. It made me sick. When he said she's a gusher, I honestly almost vomited. And then, and then my other friend, and not me, and I feel bad because it was not my joke, said she's old faithful. That's awful. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would like to take, I could have taken credit. Who the fuck knew? But I did. <laughs> it was a good joke. It was solid. <laughs> so t- 10 out of 10. Um, how did you oh, get okay. 13 cavities? Uh, Jag for $2 says, what's a soccer player with nuts called? David Beckham. No, it's called a hockey player. Uh, Bjorn for S-E-K-20. What is S-E-K? Mm. I never saw that one before. Uh, it says Ice Bank, Mice Elf, Donuts Volt. Man, this motherfucker is speaking Swedish or something. <laughs> uh, TLJ Russian Bot for $1.99 says Anna hmm. will be the last to know that she's a man. Anna? I'm not a man. Uh, if you are, do not give it away on this show. The one kidney was enough. You don't have to give away the other cock yet. I'm not a man. No, 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 no. Trust me, I'm a woman. I, 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 she's whatever. It's ambiguous at this point. I have to deal with all the bullshit <laughs> that women have to deal with. So trust me, I'm a fucking woman. Yeah, she's right. paid the price. Cecil, yeah. have I'm you? Not saying you're not a woman. Women can be born with penises. We know that nowadays. I was born Jamie with Lee Curtis. <laughs> yeah, Amy Lee Curtis has. Uh, she was a sex symbol. Wait, she was born a man. That's no, that's a rumor. That, no, she's hermaphrodite. born uh, hermaphrodite. Really? Yeah, it's, you know, it's a rumor. I don't, I don't know if it's real, but yeah, that's the rumor. Yeah, John is John, John, and his ill trade on filthy rumors like that. Mm-hmm. Just but like he, Richard Gere with the gerbil. Yeah, but I don't know if she was born with the penis or not. But her, I would definitely go down on her eight-inch clit. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Oh God! <sighs> I thought I muted that. <laughs> well, honest. Anybody who saw Trading Places would agree with me. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. And she was the hooker, right? Hmm. She uh, was- Jamie Lee Curtis. She was the hooker in Trading Places. Yes, she was. I don't know if I watch that one. You never saw that's one of the best comedies ever written of all time. Le- legit. I liked her in True Lies. Oh, yeah, when she did that. Yeah, she movie. was great in True Lies. I like Classic. her. Dude, she's a grandma now. You see her in the last uh, Halloween? I have not seen this movie. Uh, the last one. Oh, she's so old. 
And I don't like, know. Maybe Tolly would age in her up a bit. I don't know. Because then you see her out on the town. She doesn't look as busted. No, she... I mean, she does all of those, like, Activia commercials. She looks pretty old. Yeah. Hmm. No, there's nothing hotter than a chick doing a commercial for yogurt that makes you shit regularly. <laughs> I don't know. It gets me going. Oh gosh! Oh, like when God. I see an old lady, I'm like, I wonder if this bitch is drinking Activia. <laughs> it's not yeah. something you can drink; you have to eat it. Oh really? Oh. Huh. Mm -hmm. Is everyone oh. excited that Marvel Comics has had a three or four day countdown now? They've been like super hyping this big, big press release that they were going to put out today. That it's J.J. Abrams and his it, son. No, right it's J.J. Abrams' son. Oh. I mean, J.J. Abrams just kind of sitting there, you know, but it's like, hey, look at me. I'm going to get my son to write something for Marvel. How old is his son? His son looked like he was, I don't know, 18? Let me Google this. Eight. Maybe I'm maybe I'm too old and maybe everyone looks 18 now. I don't know. But he, he didn't, he barely looked like How he was out of How old do I look, John? Um, well, I told you, I, I thought that you were 28 because I thought I heard you say that you were 28. Um, but now that, that I know that you're under 25, I think I said 23-ish is what I think you are, yeah. Is it his son Henry or August? Yeah, I think so. Henry, yeah. Henry? He's 21 years old, so I'm huh. older than his son. There you go. So he, his son's a kid. His son is my baby sister's age. That That's just sad. Actually, yeah, but I mean, it, it's like it's like almost literally your dad walking you into Marvel Comics and saying, "Hey, son, you want to work here?" Sure, Dad. Stupid. Uh, don't don't you don't change your name like Joe Hill and and try to get here by making your own name for yourself. Just let me walk you in. You know, part of the reason I never did a comic is because I'm like, I'm a fucking comic skate YouTuber. I'm not a writer. I'm not a and now I'm like, wait, Marvel is just hiring J.J. Abrams' son. Who yeah, knows? people right off the street because they have a famous dad. Now, I, I feel bad for the kid because the kid might actually be a good writer and all that, but the route that is being taken here, it just really looks like – I mean, he, he's sitting there with his dad yes. in the mm -hmm. promo. Now, now like, com contrast that, John, with Joe Hill. Yeah. Now, Joe mm -hmm. Hill wrote classics for 10 years. Before he ever revealed he was Stephen King's son. Yeah. Well, I think people kind of caught on. I don't know. About as soon as I heard about Joe Hill. for the, I'm not a novel guy. But as soon as I heard about Joe Hill, about a year later, I found out he was Stephen King's son. But so. I, I honestly read. I read uh, Horns. And I read Nosferatu. And I read uh, Bad Weather. And I read about four or five Joe Hill novels. Before I knew he was Stephen King's son. And I've read every single Stephen King book ever. Yeah. But uh, I did not know that. And, uh, and I'm a, now the fact that this guy has written jack shit and is fucking being like, hey, I'm J.J. Abrams. Like, no, that's not. The, no, that's uh, not a selling point. If anything, uh, that's uh, direct the flam says Cecil can read question mark. <laughs> All right. Well, all right. Honestly, it was audible audiobooks, but you know, same thing. Mm. I like audible. <laughs> no, I read that shit, but I do like audible. But I like when I read, I don't, when I read audible, that doesn't make any sense. When I listen to audible, it's like <laughs> uh, historical shit. I'm doing Witness by. Uh, oh my God. I remember that when that book came out. I actually knew the those people witness Whitaker chambers. He was from 1950s. No. Okay. I thought you were talking about the, the, the Oh my God. What is it called? The one, uh, Lacey Peterson. I thought you were talking about that. Cause she, oh. the, the other woman wrote a book called witness. So I thought you were talking about them. What was the girl who choked out her kid in Florida? She was cute. Mm, Casey oh. Anthony. Yeah. Did you have a book with pictures or anything? No. I wouldn't get the audio book for that. I was so happy because one of my favorite books is The Alchemist. And Jeremy Irons, he reads that on Audible. And I was so excited. I was like, instant buy. It's really good. You guys should listen to it. Jeremy Irons. Um, mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I, I, I was looking up this. Uh, he was Scar in Lion King for anybody who needs to know. He was also in Die Hard 3. He was also in some weird movie where he, he was, I don't know, twin brothers. I thought they were like attached and separated. He's a fantastic actor. I like him. Yeah, creepy. And he was in, uh, yeah. Oh, did someone say the Die Hard movie? I did. He's in Die, Die Hard 3. Two, two, three? What three. Die Hard oh. 3. The second one's with the airplane. Yeah, yeah, that was a Simon Says one, right? Yes, yes. Simon Says. That was good stuff. Yeah, so someone should take a picture of Master Blaster and then turn, what is it? Who's the, who's the bottom? The big guy. Blaster. 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 Yeah. And then Master's paste, a little guy. Yeah, paste uh, J.J. Abrams on Blaster's face and then paste uh, Henry Abrams on Master's face. Only As the mind him. of a child. <laughs> or vice versa. So I'd like to see that meme uh, as well. Well, I mean, neither of them are big enough to be blaster. All right. So I have a few uh, super chats to read. Hold on. Uh, Anna will be the last to know that she's a man. I think I read that one. Oh, uh, my God. I'm not a man. Thank you. So you say. Uh, I know I'm not a man. <laughs> Sage Ollie for five dollars says there's a huge blood moon out now. Do you think they know what happened with Kelsey? Oh, oh, I, Kelsey, yeah, Kelsey turned into a werewolf, obviously, and is running a muck in the bayou. Um, cars and guitars for two dollars says Cecil, you've never been with a squirter. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I sort of. Yeah, but I don't want to. The, the story I heard tonight was disgusting. And I don't want to hear any more of it. Uh, GJ Fox for two dollars says you told the story. I know, I know, but like, <laughs> listen, when a guy is like, "Oh, I'm with a you know 25 year old girl," and she was like so wet, it's like you're excited. When a guy says, "Oh, she's a 68 year old gusher," you just you just vomit. <laughs> It's not the same. It's, it doesn't evoke the same reaction. Um, it's like, yeah, it, there's a gag reflex that you didn't know could happen with a sex story. Uh, DJ Fox for $2 says, I hope you guys do this more often. We do it almost once every two weeks at this point, no? Mm -hmm. We're doing it, right? Uh, Kelsey. <clears throat> We we put all this time in just to get Kelsey up here, nice and pampered, because you gotta you gotta you know lay down the red no, carpet for. Kelsey. I blame Mitch Breitweiser, who was like he cannot get drunk anymore and start. Mm. And you think so Mitch got him? Oh, is that why it got taken down? Well, he said, "I don't want Kelsey getting drunk and then like blabbing all this shit," and I, and Kelsey goes. Hey, I'm gonna do something different for the next chat. I'm gonna just smoke weed. So basically, he smoked himself into a coma and like went into like a panic attack and cut out. Yeah, yeah. But you don't need to do that. Uh, alcohol is better for the stream. Mitch, I blame you. Uh, Jag, does everyone else excuse Abrams for his anti-fan SJW crap? And pretend his movies aren't as bad as Ryan Johnson's crap. The man is filmmaking cancer. He is. I 100% agree with that. How the fuck can you fuck up Star Trek? How the fuck can you fuck up the wrath of Khan? Like, come on, J.J. Abrams. You're telling me that you literally have a show that's based in this idealized universe that all these problems that we're dealing with now have already been solved, and all you have to do now is deal with these social issues in this idealized universe, and you get the best type of, you know, response that you could possibly get and you fuck it up how can you do that a jj abrams he, it's like hold my beer let me fuck this shit up that's all jj abrams does i fucking hate jj abrams how the fuck do you fuck up the wrath of Khan? ask jj abrams because that's what he does sorry guys i hate jj abrams mm -hmm. yeah i can't i actually just got an action figure of Khan. like i had one but it was open so i finally have like an unopened action figure of Khan. Maybe and J.J. Abrams is, is a terrible closer, too. Um, oh, he doesn't know how to do... He can 
Like, let me add lens flares. Ma let me make this look pretty so that way people, like, buy into it. And then it actually sucks. It doesn't hold up. Yeah, he couldn't close Lost. Um, all he could do is keep keep throwing on more and more nonsense material into it. Because uh, they had no idea on how they were going to wrap it up. And that's what I'm afraid is going to happen with Star Wars, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, this movie... <sighs> The fact that they had to bring back the Emperor and they're bringing Luke Skywalker back as a Force goes well. Take in mind, I d I do give him this. He had it kind of planned out, and then Ryan Johnson's like, "Oh, this is the idea. Let me throw it away." So I will give him the benefit of the doubt there because his story did get like thrown out in the middle. So he's got to kind of you know do damage control with this one. But still, come on, if you were a good writer, if you were a good director, you could come up with a way to fix it. I mean, half the people that have emailed me have been like, this is how you fix The Last Jedi with the sequel. And I'm like, if all these people that aren't, you know, famous directors, famous writers can come up with a solution, then why doesn't this guy that's, you know, one of the highest paid directors in Hollywood come up with something? He can't because he's a fucking idiot. Thank you. Finally, someone who said what needed to be said. Yeah. I'm, I, I, I mean, how, how do you fuck up the Wrath of Khan, guys? How? Yeah. All you need is Ricardo Monaban. All you need is a space slug in the air. Yeah, that was so creepy. Like, I, there um, I, I, I have my, my nephew is graduating grammar school tomorrow. And I'm actually going to go to the ceremony. And I went to the store to buy like a uh, graduation gift for him. And it's all these stupid like Snoopy with like the mortar board and the graduation gown. And there was all like all like gifts like that where it's like graduation day. Right? And I remember being a little kid and I hated like that type of shit. So I bought him a, a really good Freddy Krueger doll. Oh, my God. Why don't you give him a check? Anna, you're missing this. You're missing the point here. Run, run it by her one more time, Cecil. At I Freddy Krueger doll. I got it. Because if I was 10 years old, like I remember getting like stupid fucking happy gr graduation with grad spelled G-R-A-D. And I hated all that shit. And I would have fucking loved if someone handed me like a Frankenstein doll. I was like, here you go, kid. So tomorrow I'm going to hand him a Freddy Krueger doll. And I know his mother, and I know my my, my parents. Wait, are hold on, Cecil, to the super chat. He didn't cast him. A casting agent did. So he doesn't even get that credit. Who? And you, Cecil. All right, let me read. Whoever casted Bones, the new Bones. Yeah. Well, let me that read this super that chat. That was the casting director. Um. J.J. Abrams. Abrams almost gave Doug Tenapel a head. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. I want yeah. to hear that story. According to Doug Tenapel, he went in there for some kind of pitch meeting, and I think J.J. Abrams was some kind of fanboy for Earthworm Jim and, like, bowed down and acted like he was going to give uh, Doug a head. That's why I heard. Well, isn't, like, Doug 6'8", and J.J.'s, like, 5-something, so he doesn't even have to bend that far? Well, I think he was sitting down. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. How tall is Abrams? Five seven. Jeez, we live in a world of midgets. Hey, I'm, I'm five seven. You jerk. Exactly. Just last time you said you were four eleven. He oh, is height and weight. <laughs> That's right. I used to be five seven, but I gained a lot of weight. My it compressed my spine. I'm now uh -huh. four. Yeah, I when I was. Yeah, when I was thinner, I was five seven, but I sorry, I put on four hundred pounds, and I really compressed. I'm four eleven uh, height and four eleven weight. Well, I'm short enough that Tom Cruise is taller than me, so there we go. What do you guys think about this idea? Now, uh -huh. um, the Mongols, when they would take over villages, you know, they'd have you stand up to a wagon wheel, and if you're taller than the wagon wheel, you lost your life. What do you think if culturally? We, what do you think if culturally, if we made it to where if you are under six foot, you're automatically, I don't know, lower class, and if you're over six foot, you're upper class. But not many women are over six feet tall. A lot of WNBA. Oh, hey, Jeff. Mm -hmm. 
Jeff is here. All right. How's it going, Jeff? Oh, is that world class bullshitters? Yeah, the, I think it's Jeff. What is the check mark? How do you get a check mark on your name? If you have over a hundred thousand subs, you get a check mark. Oh. Yeah, nice. get on the level, John. Oh, well, I'm a ways from there. Got to promote it. Yeah. John. Yeah. Yeah, yeah get a hundred thousand, you jerk. Yeah. You're a fucking loser. Do videos if you join. It'll blow up. I don't know. Like well, you know, if I got to 100,000, I think, that, you know, great. Um, But I'm just living my life. So yeah. I, I really don't have any complaints right now. You got to pay attention to the Pekingese. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing just fine. I don't live in Southern California. I get on by just just all right. That's lo that's loser thing. talk. What 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 loser talk I'm hearing right now from John? <laughs> okay. What does living in Southern California have to do with anything? Prices. Yeah, yeah John. Why are you yeah. blaming California for your shortcomings? That's why I left California. It's too expensive. It like, is I, very got dreams, expensive. I got dreams too. But it's nice out here. Oh my god. Exactly what Mike Miller says, and he's broke. He's got all his kids like doubled up in bunk beds. Aw. Well, he was like, Mike, Mike, he's super like but the mother. Look, you spent half your life indoors, anyways, Mike, in an air conditioned environment, temperature controlled. What do you care about the sun? I'm eating uh, crunchy uh, Cheetos. Can anybody hear that? Are they hot Cheetos or regular? Hot Cheetos. Oh, see, so let me show you something. Let me get them. Have you tried these ones? They're, they're the best thing ever. The, like, extra hot, hot Cheetos. Hmm. Like, once you eat these, you can't eat the regular hot Cheetos anymore. They're, they're Wait, have we been locked on Anna this whole time? Um, I, I don't know. No, but this is, like, the best. Like, if you get the extra hot, hot Cheetos, oh, they're so good. They're so, so good. But, yeah, you need to try those. I don't, they're not sold in every state, though. Wait, there's an extra hot Cheetos? Oh, my God. Did you not look at the screen? Yes, they're in the black bag. The extra, the extra, the X extra hot, flaming hot Cheetos. Do not get those in New York. I didn't know about this shit. I've, I'm fucking out of the loop. See, so I, I mean, I don't know uh, if you can handle like spicy food, but this, oh, what, once you have this, you can never go back to regular hot Cheetos because they're just not, they're, they're so bland after you. And have I, I can't wait to fucking meet you so we can have a hot wing challenge. How dare <laughs> no, you? Okay. See, okay. So, I, I can't see, so like I don't know if you can handle spicy food. <laughs> Oh, oh, you're, you're, guys, I'm assuming you can handle spice more than I can, but I'm also Portuguese. But here's the thing. I can't handle, like, saucy spice. I can handle it when it's powder, if that makes sense. So you need, like, fake spice, like Cheeto. No, like like, 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 like the powder. I can take that because it's spicy, but I just can't do the, um, the, the saucy stuff. Like a hot wing? Hot wings, I cry. Like, I accidentally, I was at... Buffalo Wild Wings, and I was pretty drunk, and I was just like, give me this one, and I pointed to one in the picture, not knowing that that was, like, the hottest one, and I went, and I took a big bite of it, because I was so hungry, and, like, my mouth immediately erupted in flames, and I started crying, I was like, like, this is how I die type, type of thing, and so I was like, just bring me milk, and so they brought me, like, the kids' chocolate milk, and I downed it, I was like, I just need more milk, like, bring me all of them. It was awful. Have you ever tried the milk challenge where you try have to drink a gallon of milk in one hour? I don't like milk, so no. Why don't you like milk? It tastes disgusting. I only like chocolate milk. I'm going to show... Someone sent me a really cool mask this week, and, and no one... They didn't give any kind of fucking... Like, they didn't say who it was. They just sent it, it What if it's like one of those masks from Halloween 2? Oh, I like that one. Halloween 3, you mean? Oh, is it 3? Yeah, from the Silver Shamrock Company. Back you. Three more days to Halloween. I can't see. I don't see, know. So what's your P.O. box? I want to send you these hot Cheetos. It's in the uh, description of the other screen. 
But um, all right, hold on. Let me put my camera on. But I have like a sleeve sack thing. There I am. I can't even see you. Oh my god. Okay. Um, so but someone gave me this wonderful um, hat. Hold on. I think it's locked on you. Hold on a second. Uh, uh, you are you are right, Cecil. It is Halloween three. I, I know it. I'm right. I don't need you to justify. Oh, hold on. I got glasses. So this was like someone sent me this like. Very, oh yeah, I saw your picture. They sent me a very cool hat, but if you flip the hat down, yeah, it's 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 excellent. Yeah, it'll be good yeah. for when people want to start robbing people, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. Well, not so, that I want to start robbing people. I'm all about love and, and honest living. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm out of beer. I'm out of right. ice. I got whiskey still. I got a little whiskey left. There you go. Not a lot, but... I think enough for tonight, for sure. Bob Salt says Cecil's die. costume. What's that? Would, would, would you mass murder civilians in that, Cecil, if you could? Please don't. No, I, I don't want. I'm all about love. I don't want to murder anybody. Yeah, but it's the purge. Oh, purge! Yeah, I, I would hack everybody to death in my sight. Yeah. Cecil turns quick, mm -hmm. doesn't he? Oh, it's legal. Okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't know I could get away with it. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. See, I wouldn't kill people. I would just, like, trip people so they couldn't get away from the people that murdered them. Wait, Anna, you didn't even let me finish. I was going to kill oh, them. I was going to kill them a kindness. I was going to be. Oh, yeah. I was gonna, go. That's sweet. Yeah. I, I if gonna, you're tripping people, though, Anna, what's stopping the people that are doing the killing from getting you? I can run really fast. No. Oh, Wait. you're 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 pushing them down so they'll have to kill those people. You're using them. Anna the can dunk. Anna can dunk a basketball. She lied once. Mm hmm. I can dunk a I I mean, last time I did it was like almost ten years ago. But I might. You cannot be dunk a fucking basketball. Can I'm you telling you, I have done minute? it. I can have you stop done lying it. for one minute. I'm not lying. You I have do done it before. With your one fucking kidney and your bullet hole in your collarbone, you're dunking. Oh, a I can do things you couldn't even imagine. Yeah, well, she now. also had monk arms. Well, no, I do. I have usually long arms. When a girl says to me, "I can do things you can't imagine," I'm now I'm starting to imagining shit. And guess what? It's cooler than those. There you go. Huh? Magic Portuguese jumping powers, says you know the Stoic. <laughs> yeah, I can jump actually freakishly high. When I was in high school, I was on, I did uh, the hurdles. So, yeah, I can jump really high. Hurdles, hurdles aren't that high, Anna. I'm a very short person. You are oh, a very tall person. No, John, she said she could jump a turtle, not a hurdle. Oh. I can jump a hurdle. Yeah. Wait, you can jump a, a hurdle or a turtle? A hurdle. I'm pretty sure I can jump over a turtle as well. They're tiny. Hmm. Do you know that when the uh, inventor of Mario Brothers was just a child, people used to make fun of him when he would smash turtles with a hammer? That's sad. Yeah. And now he, he proved them wrong. Yeah, he turned it into business. Yeah. yeah. Take, that, take that, motherfuckers. Yeah, where, what happened with you? Uh, yeah, what'd you Ted do? Bunny. Me? Yeah, no, not you. Yeah, Ted one, Bundy. Of his, one of his classmates was Ted Bundy, though. That's awful. Or Jeffrey Dahmer. He should have made a video game. Oh, God. Yeah, how, how do I seduce young men into my apartment so I can eat their brains? Yeah, you set your house up like uh, Sims, so you have to put in some trap doors. And, oh, my God. You, know, you got to have your lived in like lab a area for making your acid. Huh? He lived in like a studio apartment. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah. Well, Haven't you we'll watched a documentary lot, on we'll him? Make it a lot more interesting, kind of like Jeffrey Dahmer meets Saw. Oh God, that sounds awful. Wait, it was Dahmer? Dahmer? Yeah, Dahmer actually 
would drug his victims mm-hmm. and then tell them as they were when they when they were unable to move literally explain to them what he was going to do to them and one dude actually was able to overpower the drugs in his system broke out the 14 year old kid right ran down the street and found a cop car mm-hmm. as jeffrey dahmer was chasing after him and the cops let him take him. And, the co- and he said, this is my boyfriend. We've been doing drugs all night. I'm going to. And he literally went home and ate him. Yeah. And the cops brought him to his house. Yeah. True love. Yeah. That's awful. Ugh, makes me sick thinking about people like that. I know. I, uh, you know what makes me sick is that actually makes me hungry, that story. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, I bet the cop left with a really warm feeling too. Yeah, like, I, I really exactly. I reunite. I reunited a couple. Well, mm-hmm. it's awful because like I watched the documentary where his dad was talking about it, and he's like, "Yeah, he's like, I know that like me and my mom, or me and like the mom, like we had a horrible divorce. I thought my kid was doing well. Like I knew he was fucked up from the divorce, but I, I, he never seemed like anything was off. He seemed happy. Like he had a job. He had a, an apartment. He was." going on with his life and then i find out that my you know son was a psychopath that murdered all these people i'm like gosh like what do you do as a, as a parent <sighs> it's awful yeah like yeah we caught him fucking the family cat but we thought that was normal no yeah. he, did, he he murdered the cat and he like dug his like left his bones in like the forest behind their house and then took it out later to like inspect it are you really looking at pictures of him well, it's not like it's not like there were any clues <laughs> in his past that you know he would be you know mistreating animals uh, at all. That's such a cute kitten. It's not like he was caught in a photograph as a toddler strangling a kitten. Mm. How would they know? How would the parents know? Well, you can't really blame babies because they don't know. Sometimes, like sometimes they think animals are toys, and they like will pull on their fur, like on their ears and stuff. First of all, he's joking. That's not a Jeffrey Dahmer picture. That's Nasser. That's not Nasser's not blonde. Oh, that's That's true. Sorry. Yeah, he would have huge black eyebrows, um, and he doesn't. Look at that cat. Look how scared that cat is. If only that cat knew what was going to happen to him in the next few days. If I could say one thing to that cat, you know what it would be? Run. No. John, guess. Um, I don't know what. Hang in there, baby. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, that cat got what it deserved. I heard it wasn't a very good kitten. No. <laughs> That's awful. Yeah. Piece of shit. <laughs> if that's just because you're a dog person. <laughs> well, I got this big fat cat on my desk right now. He's got his paw on, on my hand. What kind of kitty? Uh, I don't know. He's big and fat. Well, it's actually a girl. So big, fat, and I hairy. What kind of kitty? This thing it, is a monster. Is it fluffy? Is it a yeah, is it a main, is it is it bigger than the dog? It's bigger than my dog, yeah. Aww. My dog's a Pekingese, though. So I know I have a Pekingese too. That's why I asked. Yeah. yeah. No, this. So you need to get a Pekingese. That way we can all have Pekingese. Is it yeah. a Maine Coon? Oh, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know, really know cats. It's a uh, big fat. What are calico? I think right. The brown and white. Was it? And... Was it big and fat when you got it? No, it was just a little kitten. Mm. But uh, her brother is, uh, you know, looks like a panther, but he's got like a beer belly, <laughs> and it just kind of flops around from one side to the other when he, when he's running. But that one's a good cat. This one here, uh, other than you know, like loving to be a desk ornament for me and bother me while I'm drawing, uh, is meaner than shit when no. I'm out of here. Yeah. See, that's that why I like time. to get girl cat, or excuse me, I like to get boy cats because boy cats are chill and nice, and girl cats like they're just a pain in the ass sometimes. They're really mean. Yeah, yeah, this one can be mean. Um, Portuguese with a Pekingese says totes below. 
Yeah, my little Pekingese princess who's inside sleeping. Uh, let me read a couple super chats. Got to see some. Where the fuck is Kelsey? Anna, can you take a shoe off or something? Let's. I'm go. not wearing shoes, Cecil. Why didn't you tell him that? I told you multiple times because you keep asking me. All right, we need I don't to, wear shoes because my feet right, get we need a summon, We're going to do a, a satanic ritual. If anybody's you know, a born-again Christian, you might want to leave the chat at this moment. We're going to do a satanic a summoning ritual. To oh, my go. God. Dumb. Oh, full moon, he's out. He He's with the other werewolves. He's not coming back for a while. We need you to, uh, can you take a cheese grater to the bottom of your foot? No. What a jerk. <laughs> no. I would do it for you. A cheese grater to the bottom of my feet. No, I, I don't think you want my foot skin. Ugh. I was actually just watching this video today on, I don't know if you guys watch this channel, it's called The Toe Bro, and he was like sawing off this old man's toenails, and it was one of the gnarliest things to watch, but like watching people's disgusting toenails get cleaned is so satisfying. Yeah, of just course like, I like, watch Toe Bro. Do you think I am some kind of idiot? Do you watch Dr. Pimple Popper too? I've seen it. I've seen it. It's gross. You it, oh, it's so satisfying. Yeah, you have to watch it. But um, yeah, I'm more of like a uh, slow TV, like, you know, the Swedes, they'll, they'll <laughs> film somebody like chopping wood for a day. I like to watch that uh, one scene in the Marvel movies where Captain America is doing that. Oh, chopping wood. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're Captain America. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, and he like rips it with his arms. That was a great scene. I do that all the time. Well, you live up in, like, Michigan. You need firewood or else you guys will freeze to death. Yeah. That's exactly what it's like. <laughs> I don't know. I've never been to Michigan. Yeah. What do they call the upper people Yuppies? Mm -hmm. It's like Winterfeld. It's Winterfeld of Earth. Ah. Yeah. We're surrounded by uh, what are it, five massive Great Lakes, freshwater Great Lakes. Mm. I actually, Big when emotions. I was in Chicago, I touched one of the Great Lakes. That would be Lake Michigan. Mm -hmm. I touched Lake Michigan. I, I saw you do that live. You ran like a like a maniac out into the. I was worried about you. Yeah, I, I was tempted to jump in, but I saw trash, and I was like, "No, I'm not going to do that." And I uh, didn't people have. People saying super chats aren't deserved now. Spirits car. Spirits car has been popping up. Uh, maybe maybe this person is trolling me because I keep reading out their comments. They're all I, negative. I, I have five super chats to read. Will you guys let me do that? No, Fine. Please. Okay. Uh, Are you gonna read it? No, I'm scrolling down. Okay. Uh, butthole of Death Eater of World says John is a filthy youper. Not true. Uh, <laughs> I live in the Lower Peninsula, not the Upper Peninsula. Yeah, you're in a you're a youper. You're a youper. Upper Peninsula, they're monsters mostly. Well, yeah. Spirit. I'm Anna, these are not people for you or me. These are people with webbed toes and one kidney freaks. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Why? <laughs> Jeez. Well, not a, we won't associate. My, my daddy always said I was special. Oh, oh okay. My dad said Matt, that too. Matt Becker says, Cecil, you skipped mine. No, I, I didn't I didn't skip any. Read your super chats. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let, let's go through them. Uh, bu -bu 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 okay. <laughs> I hope you. Know. Why so does everyone? Uh, why does everyone excuse Abrams for all his anti-fan SJW crap and pretend his movies aren't as bad as Ryan Johnson's crap? The man is filmmaking cancer. Yeah, so I don't think anyone's excusing him. Matt Hayes from 499 says J.J. Abrams' sons, cousins, assistants, agents, maids, and sister are writing. Insert mm -hmm. shit here. <laughs> Matt Becker for two dollars says Nasser's gonna quit comics after this book. Discuss. He will not. Uh, Nasser has no perspective whatsoever. He is a babe in the woods. His first comic made over twenty thousand dollars two years ago. If somebody had an independent comic that made over five thousand, it would have com been considered a major success. He's had three books with over twenty thousand. He's That's being amazing. a petulant asshole. He'll be back. I love him. I support him. 
Well read user ones for Canadian five dollars. John, what's the, the, the uh, exchange on that? Uh, Canadian five bucks. It's definitely not enough for liquor. And uh, these people disgust me. Look, if you're Canadian, you should be super chatting Cecil at least 10 bucks. At least $10. I, I, I think on the exchange rate, I owe you 40 cents, actually. Yeah. Is well, it don't they get taxed like 50% on everything they spend? Well, uh, either way, I'll be I'll be uh, kind to well-read user one. Isn't a blood moon when Gail Simone bends over to pick a candy off the floor? Oh, oh my God. God. That put all types of terrible images in my brain. Thank you. Got <laughs> now I'm hungry. TLJ Russian bot for four ninety nine says, "At first, I really miss Kelsey, but now, while I'm missing his self destructive tour de force, I think y'all are doing great. Hang in there, saving one hundred and fifty k for Kelsey." Well, I feel like we're doing okay without him. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Jeg for two dollars says the only credit I'll give to Abrams is for casting Carl Urban. Again, he didn't fucking do that. JJ Abrams is useless. The casting director casted him. The there you uh, go. by the way, the casting director did not casted him. He cast. I'm sorry, Cecil. Right. I've been drinking this entire time. I have been drinking, and I've actually drank more than I have in a long time. Since our last stream, I should correct myself on that. I hate, I don't listen. I'm the last person to correct anybody's grammar. Uh, yeah. Are you smoking <laughs> weed? Yeah. Whoa, are you no, I was growling. I heard a bong hit there. What's going no, on? I was doing my growl. Or I go, what was yeah. that noise? What was that? I'll show you because I can't describe it. I do this thing when I'm like just. I have no words when I'm just like like that. Jeez. Wait, you were not doing a bong hit, you liar. No, I don't have, I don't even own a bong. I'm not my sister. Or I just go. Oh, yeah, just throw your sister under the bus. Okay. Oh, no, you want it? My sister tweeted about it. She's like, I was literally like, blow, like doing like, what, taking a hit from my bong out the window. And my German Baptist neighbor was just staring at me. And we made eye contact. And he's like 80. And I was like, oh my God, Emily. But my, both of my sisters are like insane hippies. So yeah, everybody. If oh. Anna ever does anything wrong, it's her sister's fault from now on. Okay, gotcha. No, it's not my sister's fault. I take credit for my own mistakes in life, but I was not hitting a bong. TLJ Russian bot for four ninety nine says, "Mitch, please let Kelsey be the living superhero that he is. Why doesn't someone draw a comic about Kelsey and his heroics on the Bayou?" They have. It's called Swamp Thing, and uh, Alan Moore <laughs> has done it in the eighties. It's called yeah, the everyone, should, everyone should just write Mitch on Twitter and say, M "Mitch, let Kelsey be Kelsey." Mitch is trying to run as a respectable company, though. I, I hear him. I do not no, have needs, an Alan's apple. Wait a minute. Yeah. Let me ask you a question, Anna. What? How is your self esteem? You're not getting hit on nearly as much as when Kelsey's here. Does that? Even though you don't like I it. never get hit on. So it, it's fine. I, I don't have any problems with my self-esteem. I mean, I'm not in high school anymore. Wait a minute. You're telling me when Kelsey's... Last time we were on stream together, Kelsey was willing to put both your feet in his mouth. Okay, so... That's got to be, you know... He's, he's uh, you know, a nice guy. I mean, I've never met any human being on earth who said, hey, uh, Cecil, I'll put both your feet in my mouth. Well, maybe well, I've dated weird people before, but I mean, it's it's just, I don't have like self-esteem problems because I mean, I got over all that. I, I learned a long time ago that if you focus on the way other people think about you, you're never going to be happy. And so it's, I the only time I get sad is if it's somebody that, you know, I really care about their opinion. Like if my dad were to say something like, oh, your hair looks awful, then yeah, I'd feel really bad about myself. But if it's just some random stranger I've never met, then it, it's not going to affect me in my life. And if I were to live my life like that, I'd just be miserable like I was yeah. for a long time. Yeah, so, I mean, some random person just putting their feet in your mouth, it's no different than, uh, you know, if you had something in your hair and someone came by and said, oh, let me get that out of your hair. And then they just I just out your hair. Somebody offering to put my feet in their mouth, like, yeah, that, that, I mean, that's weirdly flattering. But, I mean, yeah, I don't I live do. my life off of, oh, my gosh, am I going to get hit on or not? Like, no, that's yeah. not a way to live. I hear you. Um, But, uh, yeah, 
you, 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 for me, if I was a single guy, you know, just on the make, just the fact that you have any kind of relationship with your father would mean that you're off limits for me. <laughs> well, my dad's the best dad in the whole wide world. So, yeah, it's like Quagmire's advice. If, if, if you ask with a girl, how's your relationship with your father? And she says anything other than I don't know my father, move on. Well, his logic is flawed since he's in love with Lois and Lois is a daddy's girl. That's true. So. Hmm. But Quagmire is like a hit it and quit it kind of dude. He's he's not like, let let me be like passionately in love with this person because he has Lois. So he can't get involved with the woman because he is pining for Lois still. Yeah, he's not the kind of guy that would just put your feet in his mouth and not want something in return. Oh, no, he, he definitely wants everything in return. Didn't you see the episode where they go into his house? And it's like there's roofies like that automatically get put in your drink. And if you like go somewhere, it, like flip, it's like a wall that flips you onto like a heart shaped bed that rotates. You don't remember uh, that episode? Yeah, like the, the ankle clamps come down and grab your legs. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God, what about the, my mom? It was funny because I remember I was in high school and we got cable finally. And we're watching the episode with the old guy that likes Chris. And my mom's just like walking through because she was doing the laundry and the laundry room was right next to the living room. And she just is walking in to like see what we're watching while she's waiting for like the last couple minutes for the laundry. Hey, Mr. Mostly Arms. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and she just started dying when she saw it. He's like, I got a popsicle in my pocket. You want to put your hand in it and get it for me? It's like, oh my god, this is awful. I got a popsicle in my pocket. <laughs> you want to come down to my basement? Hey there, Mr. Muscly Arms. Where's the paper boy? <laughs> come, to do, come to bring me some good news. <laughs> Did you guys ever watch American Dad? Yeah. yeah. Did, what about the Picard episodes where he's in there? Yes. Yeah, Picard is. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, the dude. He's the boss. Boss, right? uh -huh. And like the the one where they're having the gay test. So they have you come in and it's like, it depends on how you look at your fingernails and whether or not you're gay. And Picard does it the gay way. And they're all like, what? But they can't, you know, kill him because he's the boss. Hmm. And then he tells all of them, he's like, well, the way I do it is actually the straight way. Also, that means all of you guys are gay. And it's like, oh, gosh. It's true. My nieces tricked me the other day. They're like, look at your nails. And I did do it the gay way. But I only did it the gay way because I just had my nails done. Why did you just have your nails done? <laughs> yeah, how else are you going to look at them? Yeah, what am I, stupid? I'm trying to admire them. Wait, why did you have your nails done? I don't even get my nails done. Uh, because I'm not a savage Portuguese. Chip. I'm not a savage Portuguese. I draw and it's pointless to yeah. you know, get well, your nails done. Well, sometimes I like to feel pretty. <sighs> to get your hair done. Yeah, it's a, it's a EVS thing. Like Ethan likes to get, what is it, pedicures and manicures and oh, pedicure. watch show tunes. Watch a lot of show tunes. There's nothing wrong with going to see Broadway shows. If the, even the most masculine people in the world, look at John, look at you, Jackman. True. Probably the most butch dude any guy could ever. Yeah, hope to be. By the way, I found another uh, a wonderful take from the uh, Tony Awards where he was singing a line from The Music Man. Did you ever see this? I think I forwarded it to you. Huh. He was doing the music man. And then he said, I wonder how this would sound like as a rap. Oh, and God. Then, and, then, and then LL Cool J and T.I. come out and they start rapping the music man with you, Jackman. And I swear to you, if there's a more masculine thing on the planet than that, I don't know what it is. It was wonderful. Uh, we're... we're was Hugh Jackman teaching them from behind how to do some pelvic thrusts? Do not ruin Hugh Jackman for me, John. Oh my gosh. You haven't seen his Broadway? I have. He's magnificent. Do not ruin Hugh Jackman for me. Can we, can we pull up? Can we? You know, whenever I have a bad day, I watch Oklahoma on YouTube and I get to listen to Hugh Jackman sing 
oh, what a beautiful morning to me. And it's great. And my day is immensely better after that. Oh, what a beautiful day. But you have to have like Hugh Jackman singing and he's like on a farm and it's like, ugh. Uh, <laughs> see, so what one do you want me to pull up? What What is this? Uh, seven you, husbands for seven brothers. That was a two, good one. Seven. Hugh Jackman. Wives seven, or seven brothers. Oh, seven wives. Sorry, I know. Uh, uh, but you, you, Jackman, um, and uh, the Music Man with LL Cool J and Ti. Oh no! Okay. Somebody's saying, "Look at his wife." I'm like, "Yeah." I showed a picture of his wife to my mom so she could feel better about herself, and it it helped. I have a few super chats before we get to the you Jackman portion of the section of the. Where the fuck is Kelsey? Read your super chats. Uh, he's a werewolf right now. Okay. He should have came down by now. Now he's just being a jerk. He probably passed out. <laughs> Andrew Horta, who is the artist for Sovereign, is that still available? I, I'm a, I'm a backer. Wonderful book. Great artist. He says, "Take a shot, Cecil." I'm, I, honestly, there's my. I, I wish I could take a picture of what the fuck's going on around me. There's. Just empty bottles everywhere. <laughs> yes, James, um, go look up um, Jackman's wife. <laughs> Cyborg Valkyrie for two dollars says Anna is sixty-eight and a gusher. I told you I'm nine years old. Ugh. I am nine. That's, I've been legally able to drink for a long time, but I'm nine. That's worse than being sixty-eight and a gusher. Everything is disgusting right now. Oh, no, uh, I, Carl I, Hungus I, for two dollars <laughs> says. Where is your Mr. Wrestling number two mask? I have it right here. I have masks abound. I'm covered in masks. Uh, Bob Rogers, who sent me uh, a bottle of whiskey once from Canada, God bless you, says, I believe Anna, hashtag. I Hashtag believe Anna. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, thought you'd be bigger, Bear, for two, just gave $2 with no comment. Uh, Jeg for two dollars said all of Anna's weirdness confirms she's an X Men. Thank you. Toad. Thank you. Hmm. Spirit. Yeah. When, when, it, when all they do is give you money and no comment, that's like slipping money in your g string. Yeah. Cecil. Yeah. Give them tips, Cecil. Well, I'm shaking it. Yeah. I'm shaking it even when I'm staying still. What does this mean? Anna is like the Sahara. I don't get it. Dry. Hot. So I have a dry sense of humor? Dry or hot. You could take yeah. it away. Yeah, it I just could be an insult or a compliment. Mm. I would go for the compliment and be like, that means I'm hot. Like if someone says Cecil's like the Sahara, I would imagine that they didn't know what Sahara meant. Um, Jag, all of, okay, hold on. Spirit car, please be more entertaining, please. He said, Thank you. I'm going to try from this point forward. DJ Fox says, here's some American money, Cecil. Step it up, Canada. <laughs> oh, uh, I actually came up with a really good Star Trek joke. Let's see. Well, I have one more super chat now. We Fine. Can talk. Fine. Matt read it. Becker for $2 says, Jeremy's bullies Anna about Jeremy bullies Anna about coming on Cecil's stream. Is that true? No. You lied. That part. <laughs> He says, Anna, if you were in Ocampa, you'd be about to die. Very true. Wait, oh, yeah, they die when they're like nine years old, right? Yeah, they, yeah that was Kess from Voyager. Yeah. Has Jeremy told you not to come on my stream? Is this no. true? Is that Geeks and Gamers, Jeremy? Yeah, no, Jeremy's never told me not to come on their stream. Oh, Jeremy's Cecil. So All you right. knew you knew what what Jeremy they were talking about when they said that he bullies you. Jeremy doesn't bully me. I feel like he just confessed that he does bully you. Matt no, Becker for $2 Jeremy. said Jeremy bullies Anna about coming on Cecil's stream. No, Jeremy does not bully me. If anything, I bully him. Yeah, Dude, bully him back. Your voice lilted. Uh, well hung and dung for two dollars. No, two euros says, Have you two degenerates ever captured this? Have you two degenerates ever captured this poor woman? No, we didn't capture. She's willingly here. Anna, you're here on your own volition, right? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it was Anna this week that said, hey, you guys want to stream? Yeah. That's true. Anna yeah. was down. I like you guys. And yeah. Honestly, I've been kind of depressed lately, so I was like, I need to like talk to people that are cool. 
So, you guys uh, are uh, what the fuck are you depressed about? Just life. I don't know. I don't know. I've just, I haven't been happy, like, since my channel got to 100,000. Like, I, I did my video, and I was like, you know, I should be, like, happy. Because it, it's kind of like, if you're on a roller coaster with all of your friends, like, all of your friends, you're at this amusement park, it's awesome, you're having a great time, you get on this roller coaster, and I'm in the back of the roller coaster, and I'm watching as all my friends, like, go up, and you're about to go, like, down the big dip, and it's exciting, and you hear everyone, like, getting all excited and screaming, because they're going over the edge, and then it's my turn, finally, and I go, and it's just straight and flat, and it's like, what the, the huh? I know. Honestly, normally I think people would think you were crazy, but I understand exactly what you're saying. Well, it's like, because uh, also it's like I see all these other channels that they're all excited and they're like, they want to grow so much. And I got there and I'm like, it it wasn't like we're Jeremy, my, you know, he and I have been really good friends for a while now. And he's been doing this for five years and it finally happened to him and he's so happy. Gary, same thing. Gary's been doing this for years, finally gets there. He's so happy. Jesse's still working on it, but I mean, Jesse is hitting all those milestones as well. And every time she hits a new one, she's so immensely happy about it. And then I came in and I never expected to be on YouTube. It just, I saw an awful Star Wars movie and it shook me to my very core and it, you know, broke me. And I made a video just to explain to friends and family and it blew up. And so it happened and I'm like, People that work at this for years have, you know, tried to get this and they still haven't gotten there. And so for me to just come in and do it in like a year and a half, I was so hyped up and excited about it. And then it happened and I just felt so empty. And it made right. me really sad because I'm like, what if somebody's been working at this for years and they get there and they feel empty too? So it's like, it's not about a number. It's, you know, I don't know how to it's really. It's not about numbers, Cecil. It's no. not about 3,800. Sauce. Well, I'm, I can't compare it to like YouTube, but I remember the first time I strangled a hooker to death. I remember um, I didn't think my erection would ever go down, but after <laughs> a few hours, it did. And then the next time, it took less time. Never give up hope. Is, is and every world. time I strangle a hooker to death, I think it's going to be like the first time where it's going to take four hours for the erection to go down. But at this point, the last time I strangled a hooker, I'm between the three. <laughs> I think between, I'm starting to see Jeremy's point of view. Yeah, between the three of us, I didn't even get an erection the last time. Yeah. And I, it's embarrassing. And I was like, what am I even doing this for anymore? You know what I mean? Who am I, who am I trying to impress? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Matt Becker for $2 says, Jeremy browbeats her about Kelsey. Is that true? Where Where is he getting all this? Is This this has to be something know. going on on a stream. Wait, what's going on? What? Uh where, so he's seeing, where, where he's seeing Jeremy abuse you. Nobody's abused me. Well, people are saying that that you're getting abused by Jeremy for the interaction with Kelsey. Where the fuck is Kelsey? Can we get a, 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 a safety check on him? Yeah. Well, they said, they said uh, I believe, if I heard Cecil right, that the Jeremy is browbeating you. I mean, that's no. probably illegal. Yeah. No. <laughs> Uh, Edwin the Ace Acevedo, hashtag follow the Ace on Twitter, everyone says, uh, this is the exact point where the stream got deleted, John. No, no one will delete this. Kelsey's not here. I have, I have no shame and no uh, management. Oh, I think it's the uh, hooker strangulation. Oh, shit. Did I mention that on air? People are just oversensitive these days, Cecil. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bunch of fucking snowflakes. Bunch of, Jer Bunch of Jeremy's out there. Yeah. Get a life. Strangle a hooker. Get some experience. Come back to me. Jesus. What was that one like serial killer that would only kill prostitutes? It was in like oh. Washington or something. Uh, that was like 90% of all serial killers kill prostitutes. No, it was like, uh, it was where they like had him in custody and then they couldn't like convict him until they like years later when they finally got forensic. John Wayne Gacy? It was like the, the Green Lake killer or something. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, uh, I remember. Yeah, Green yeah. River. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, thought that, we thought that was Cecil for the longest time. Yeah, not me. I wasn't <laughs> born yet. Son, like he would come up to women and you know in his car be like, Hey, do you need a ride? And then he would like, No, like look, here you know, and he would show them a picture of like him and his family, and he'd be like, well, Would I murder you? I have a child. And he would murder him. <laughs> hmm. But that was like his bait was like, 
he would open up his wallet to show them like here's my name like my address and whatnot and they would see the picture of him with his family they're like oh he has a family he wouldn't hurt me and then you freaking murder them and leave them in the woods psycho yeah 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 um, you, you shouldn't do that and no yeah don't kill people yeah if anybody just tunes in randomly to this channel, that's basically our number one message is not to murder prostitutes. Yeah, <laughs> ever. ever. Un no matter how funny the situation might be, don't do it. Yeah. Silence of the Lambs? No, that's very different. That was based on Ed Gein and Ted Bundy. Um, do you know who... Uh, uh, Jack, uh, Jack the Ripper used to murder prostitutes, and then yeah. he would write letters to the uh, to the police in London. And you know how he would he would sign it with their blood. But you know what he would write as the signature of what his name was. Mm. He would write Jeremy yeah. from Geeks yeah. and Gamer. That's right. <laughs> he would write Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers. That's awful. Why are you yeah, gonna Absolutely true, and and I always thought Jeremy was in on that, but now I think about it, I but I believe honestly with all my heart, he's a time traveler, and he is Jack the Ripper. From Hell, oh, that's an old movie. From Hell is what that that's how he would write. That was with Johnny Depp. No, 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 that's what Jack the Ripper would write. He would write letters to the police and the newspapers, and he would sign it from Hell. That's how he would write. From hair, from Hell, Jeremy, Geeks and Gamers. Yep. Oh. That's awful. <laughs> they say he's very smart for his age. <laughs> what? Anyway, the guy knew his way around a pancreas, is all I could say. Oh god. What? The sweet ones. Too soon? Well, he 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 was just an inspiring surgeon, right? He was thrown out of medical school. Yeah, they weren't they weren't complimenting him for his his skill. I mean, it was, it was kind of butchery. I thought they never caught Jack the Ripper. They said he had the hands of a gamer. Oh, my gosh. And the personality of a geek. <laughs> Don't gamers get, like, carpal tunnel? Yeah. So They're Jack the Ripper had up. carpal tunnel as a surgeon? Yeah. How many viewers do we have? I haven't looked. I don't know, but Cecil, you got a new super chat. <coughs> Oh, it Excuse must be me. good. It sounds like it sounds like Anna wants this one to be read quickly. I don't know. I, I... Uh, well, hung and dung. How have you degenerates captured this poor? Oh, I read that one already. We we're not. She's not captured yet. I'm not captured. They don't know where I live. No, I could never catch her. Yeah, four five five Palm Beach Ave on. I do not whatever. live in Palm. Beach. I, I'm just making this up. It was, it was good and creepy and funny. Um, yeah. They don't or make they don't make a hover round fast enough to catch Anna. But when mm -hmm. they do, your mind yeah, watch out. <laughs> Nobody will be able to catch you. When me. they make a hover round fast enough to catch you, my sweet, you will be mine. <laughs> uh Matt Becker for two dollars says Jeremy browbeats her about Kelsey. Browbeats. What That's assault. That? That's assault. What is browbeats? Has Where they put punches you in the head. Z over and over about your brow. That's not brow. He's brow beating you. I've been brow beat before, and I'm telling you, Jeremy was not the one that did it. Well, uh, we're saying right now, Jeremy, that's got to stop. All right. Uh, who the hell brow beat you? <laughs> uh, an awful psychopath. Uh, somebody is saying where you live in chat, Senor Lugnuts. Um, let me see if they're correct. I think one of those is correct. No, that's, that's not. I oh, wait, no, no, no. I think you live in an M. In M. M. I'm not, I'm not going to help people. I'm not going to help people. All no, right. no, no. I, I mean, people, because I got a P.O. box in Santa Ana, so people are like, oh, you live uh, in Santa Ana. And I'm like, no, I, I don't live in Santa Ana. I specifically got one in the city that I didn't live in. Yeah, Santa Ana is trash. <laughs> she lives in Rancho Cucamonga. Everybody I knows that. I do not live in Rancho Cucamonga. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Uh, yes. No, that, that's where I saw it. I think I, I saw you post your P.O. box somewhere. Yeah, I know. My P.O. box is in Santa Ana because, well, mainly it has a parking lot there. But I specifically, it's right off the freeway at that place. And there was ones available 
and it's not close to my house, so people can't like find me from there. Okay, Echo Base Network. Oh, Echo, isn't that the guy who got the whole thing going with uh, a Doomcock? Echo Base Network was the guy who got the Shatner thing going. Uh, for nine ninety nine, thank you. That's a very generous super chat. It says get the. W oh wait, here he goes. I got word back from William Shatner's business partner on the Doomcock interview. Oh wow, I was right. Yes, this is them. Uh, it's in the works, and they are getting a lot of SJW hate messages for doing this. Hopefully, good news coming soon. Yes, a million SJWs are contacting Captain Kirk, and they're telling him that like. Comic Skate and Fandom Menace are Nazis and not to do the interview. But I think it's going to happen. I hope it does. And I hope that uh, I think the idea is that they're going to try to raise a lot of money for that. And I, I hope it does actually do well and money goes to charity. Um, you actually look at his charity. Like I, I was on the live stream and I looked it up and I was like, this is a charity for him and all of his rich friends to have like horses and stuff. Yes. Like, need charity. Why do you hate horses, Anna? Why do you hate rich people? You? I don't hate horses. I'm just saying, like, why wouldn't you have a charity that helps people? But if, 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 if you had a horse, how quick would you turn it into glue? Yeah. I had a horse and it did not turn into glue. It helps rich people. Why is it not helping? Just because it's helping people that are poor doesn't mean it's not helping people. Is that yeah, what it's for? Is it for like a horse farm or something? What's the charity? No, it's for them to like have horse shows. It's for a horse show. It's for all these people that can afford to host this horse show with all of their horses. It's for them to not spend money and for, you know, middle class people to pay for all of these rich people to have a horse show. Hmm. That's what it is. And I'm like, are, are you is there like a sexual thing about it or No, it's like rich people, let me show you my fancy horse that I take care of. Oh. I've bred I me like a Tijuana Honestly, horse. I'm I'm more impressed than I was before because this whole time I thought it was a horse show. But no. it's a horse show, which is better. I'm not drunk yet, guys. I'm just a little tipsy. Mm. What do you mean that's not true? I literally Googled this in the middle of a live stream and saw it. Anna, have you ever pretended to be crippled to get free horseback riding lessons? No, I didn't need to be crippled. Well, I mean you don't have a lot in common. Oh, well, fine. Wait, explain, Cecil. I pretended I once, you know, I went up to the Shatner Ranch. I was wearing a hockey helmet, and I walked with a severe limp, and I let the drill go out of one side of my mouth. And I got a three-hour free lesson out of it, and I felt it was worth it. EVS said it's for disabled kids. Who? Okay. No, it's for I people at... to ride horses? What's okay, horse? when I looked at... The link that William Shatner shared on Twitter, it was for a fancy show that him and his friends show all their horses. So unless he posted a different link to a different charity, the one that I saw was just rich people showing off their horses. Echo Base Network for Fort Nenon says, no, it's for underprivileged kids to spend time with therapeutic courses. It's a okay. charity for kids. I support you are not that. being accurate, Anna. You are being a hateful bitch. Says, Did he really say that? No, I, I added the last part. Oh my god, so I'm going to punch you if I ever meet you. Uh, okay, well then fine. I stand corrected. When I originally looked at it, it did not say anything about disabled children. You can go back and look at the live stream where I went and looked at it. Look at all the chats coming in. I know, they're mad at me. I'm sorry, guys. When I looked at it... Everyone it super chat your hate. Super <laughs> chat your hate. Uh, an H for hating Anna, please. Let's just see if anyone. And a, and a $1 contribution I'm to see if you drunk. I'm actually very, very happy and fun when I'm drunk. Anna gets drunk and just starts no, tuning in us out person. and it's straight to the chat. Listen, <laughs> Anna, Anna, everybody Anna. has something that they hate. You happen to hate horses and disabled children. That's I do not wrong. hate horses or There's disabled nothing children. Wrong. Look at all the H's coming, all the hate. They see the hate. Trust me, I do not hate horses, nor do I hate disabled children. Look at all the age. How quick would you push a disabled child off of a horse? Never. Oh, God. No, why would she do that when she could? Why would she push a disabled uh, child off a horse, John, when she could lead them both off a cliff? Oh, that's awful. I would never do, do that to a child. One stone. Yeah, nice. Yeah. 
Okay, if like the disabled child was Hitler, yeah, I would throw that person off a cliff. But it's I'm assuming none of these disabled children are Hitler. So uh, the H is for Hitler. Show everybody <laughs> if you think Anna is worse than Hitler with an H, please. That's awful. You cannot compare what? me to somebody that caused the fucking Holocaust. I don't remember him killing any horses. Uh, well, he loved animals. He was a vegetarian. Hmm. But not Always eat. It doesn't make up for murdering innocent Justin people. Justin Mabe for five dollars says, "Let the hate flow, Anna." <laughs> oh wow, I'm not a hate. Look at all the H's. It's solid H's all the way down. No. Yes. <sighs> oh my God, hey! So I need to show you guys a picture of me with a damn horse. Oh my God, are you killing it with a machete? No, I'm cleaning it to eat. No. I skinning only cow it? and chicken. <clears throat> I can go to where, where the hell is this little thing where it shows me my places? Ah, fucking the iPhones. There you go. I'm afraid yeah. to even come near you at this point, Anna. Me? That's fine, Cecil. No, but I'm hung like a horse. That's why. I, what? Oh, um, Echo Base Network for four ninety nine says, Anna, this is Nicholas Glenn, by the way. Oh, hi, Nicholas Glenn. <laughs> That's who oh, based Network oh, is. Lindy. I love Lindy. Lindy is awesome. And he says, you are a fun drunk. Okay. Thank you, Nicholas. He's been around me when I'm drunk. And oh, in real you. life? Yeah, yeah. I met him at Star Wars Celebration. Oh, okay. What? We're sorry. We're sorry, Nicholas, that you had to go through drinking him with and Lindy were horse, awesome. this disabled horse hater. Oh, my, oh, my God. I'm not a disabled horse hater. Normally, How people would Jeremy push a day disabled kid off of a disabled horse. Normally, they shoot a horse if it has a broken leg, but she shoots them if they have a sprained ankle. That is awful. DJ is Fox awful. for five dollars. Excuse me, I'm talking. Fine. DJ Fox for five dollars. Jesus. <laughs> Excuse me, you fucking horse murderer. I don't have to talk over you. Uh, <laughs> this is Anna's. <laughs> I never killed a horse. Oh my god, that's exactly what somebody who murders horses says. Oh mm -hmm. my god. This is Anna's t-shirt design. Her killing a horse with forced lightning. Oh yeah. my god. John, you're an artist. I god, I wish I had talent. I would be drawing that right now. No, look at uh Phantom Harlock. That that's the shirt design right there. Uh what about four it? posts under that. It's a horse and then a gun. Oh no. God. That's awful. I just want you to know, John, when you posted on Twitter about that, you posted that little meme from uh, the never ending story with the <laughs> horse. I was like, ah, that like part of my childhood. Just but that was me. the best part. That was when he, he sunk into the pit of despair or something. That was awful. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, That's I why I posted it to rip people's hearts right out of their chests. That's exactly yeah, but that's why if you didn't see the horse sink in the mud, then you wouldn't have been happy about Falcor. How happy do you think Jeremy was when he saw that gif of uh, Artex drowning in the mud? I don't know. Jeremy, do you think a little smile crossed his face? Wait, hold on. Linkovich Chomosky in the chat says, Anna killed a horse for an extra kidney. Any truth to that? No. That's exactly what a liar would say. Oh my god. How many homeless people would you kill for body parts? None. Why would I want to infect my body? Oh, snap. Why do you hate homeless people? Because a homeless person put me in a John, hospital. Bingo. Did you hear the way homeless disgust. people's organs the disgust? Why would I want to infect my body? With a homeless person that's probably turning down on drugs. Question. How many homeless people, Anna, would you like to be? There's to, me and a freaking you, horse, guys. There you go. There's me and a many, horse. How many homeless people, Anna, would you like to be able to put into a, a single wood chipper at a time? None. Dante not, and Ravana for two dollars. I am not going to read that chat. Uh, what is it? It was. It was a. No, nah, nah, I'm not going to read it. Oh, I missed your uh, horse picture here. I, I see it popping right, up on YouTube. I just sent it, guys. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's me and a freaking horse. How little is that horse? You're taller than that horse. It's a weird angle, but that that's a special type of horse. Are we it's sharing Anna right now? Hold on. Is that a horse for little people? No, that's a special type of plowing 
horse and they're going extinct. So this one breeder that was in Modesto, she had my friend uh, house it for her when they were out of the country. And so I was over helping my friend because she'd never been around horses before. So I was showing her the ropes. But so this type of horse, they're uh, native to England and they used to be used for plowing. But because, you know, now they have technology to, you know, use machines to do that these horses are going extinct because you know they're not needed anymore and they're too short to be you know show horses so this person breeds them to keep the species alive like bushwick bill from the ghetto boys who was a midget uh spirits car says anna pushed a sick kid over to beat that horse jesus christ anna no i did not is there some child just off camera wincing in pain well yeah. hung and dung for two euros says how much for Anna to kill a horse live on stream? Anna, never. Never, how much, honestly? I would never kill a horse. On stream for how much money? None. I said would you I kill, would a, would you kill a cow. Wait, I'm wait. Sorry, what? Would you kill a cow? I've killed a cow before, so yeah. Oh, with the yeah, uh wait, you've killed an animal thing? before, but you wouldn't kill a horse. How much? Cecil, I grew up on a farm. Of course we killed our cows so we could eat them. Oh, did you do it with the piston? No. That that little bolt that shoots out and you put it in their head? No. We used oh. my dad's shotgun. Oh, you did it like um what is that? Napoleon Dynamite. That old guy wait in the minute. field. Anna, Anna, yeah. wait a minute. You would not kill how much money? If I gave you five hundred thousand dollars, would you shoot a horse out? Stream. No, I would not kill a horse because five hundred thousand dollars. No, maybe a billion, like two billion dollars, maybe. But I'm not going to kill a horse. I, I would kill a cow. Concept of money, food. a half a million dollars to shoot a horse. You already said as a child you murdered a cow. You wouldn't kill a horse. We shot the cow because the cows moved to our freezer. Yeah, but you could eat a horse. I'm not going to eat a horse for a. Half a million dollars, you wouldn't no, no, I'm not going to kill a horse for half a million dollars. Sometimes I don't even know who you are anymore. It's okay, it's okay. I would kill her horse. Look at this virtue single signaling person in our chat, Larry Enough. Romano. Anna's integrity is worth 500 times Malin and Cecil's. Get out of here, Larry. You know, who Larry sounds like a fucking horse. Yeah. <laughs> I hate didn't didn't uh, Scarface say something about horses? No, he said something about pigs who don't fly right, though. No, uh, I a, ho didn't. a horse is a pig that doesn't fly straight, right? Isn't that what he said? <laughs> no. Like that? He said a heifer is a pig that doesn't fly right. Oh, a heifer is a pig that doesn't fly right. Oh, yes. okay. Oh, maybe I'm thinking Ice Cube. Who am I thinking of? Ice Tea. Cube? Tea? Anna. Hmm. Suppose me and you were we're 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 we're, we're destitute. We're a couple. Go with me. Anna, please. We need to make money. And someone says, if you slaughter this horse on stream for we'll give you five hundred thousand dollars to turn your life around. Why would it just be five hundred thousand dollars? Oh my god. It, no, no, I'm, I'm asking. Anna, I, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. No, no, you're, you're giving me a situation. I'm going to ask questions about it. <sighs> Someone Cecil, says $500,000. I am trying to find a way to make more money for the, you. The, only, the only answer to would you kill a horse for $500,000 is the only correct answer is only a horse? No, yeah. that, that's not the only correct answer. It's who is the person that's paying me? How do I find out what their motives are? How do I find out if I'm desperate for money and in this situation where it's me and it's relying on me to not only support myself and to support my partner, how do I get the most out of it? And how do I get away with getting all the money and not murdering an animal? And so that way me and my partner come out on top. And you have to do it with a pocket knife. Yeah. There Your you ethics, go. I hate her ethics. They're just sick. You hate my ethics? Yes. Why? We need the money. I know, and I'm trying to get you more money, Cecil. I yes. Uh, all right. Triton One says, all you have to do is kill one freaking horse. One fucking horse, Anna. It's, an animal. it's, it's a beautiful, majestic animal. Right, Anna, me and you, we have a one-bedroom apartment with basic cable. You kill that horse, and we got the full package Cinemax. 
No, it's okay. no, 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 Cecil. Five hundred thousand dollars no. won't buy you a house where I live. So this isn't a lot of money. Some horses are worth more than five hundred thousand dollars. So if I can get more money out of this, I'm going to. Not that fucking horse that was shorter than you. That's a rare type of horse. Uh, Totes Bologna says, uh, "What about a dolphin?" Oh fuck no! I'm not going in the water. Are you fucking kidding me? Hell what no! Are you doing from boat? Do no. boat. When they come up and they, they're all Meh. up to the side of the boat, you blow their brains out. Would you do that? Hell no. Because then the the blood would get in the water and sharks would come, and I'm not about that life. Do you know why the, the, why the donkey had a raspy voice? Because it was what Eddie donkey? Murphy. The donkey had a raspy voice? Do you know why? It was Eddie Murphy. No, because he was a little horse. <laughs> 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 That's a poem. Ray Cornball for two dollars says Cecil has zero horse sense. Not a good look. Mm. God damn it, he fucking shamed me. Uh, Old Wave for five dollars says, "Will you be interviewing Shatner, Cecil? Good show, guys. No, I will be nowhere near that, and rightfully so." Um, but you like Star Trek, Cecil? I love Star Trek. Yeah, I know Star Trek. Yeah, he, really, he should come here. I would rather I would rather uh, you join Doomcock. I feel like you're you're much better at Star Trek than I am. In fact, you should change your name to that Star Trek girl just for the interview. No, people hate it when I talk about Star Trek on my channel. They like I love it. No, I I love when you do. Well, that's part of that Trek versus Wars war that that's been going on for decades, right? I, well, no, it's just like people absolutely can't stand it when I talk about Star Trek, and I'm like, oh, all right, fine. Uh, <laughs> Matt. So Matt Becker says, wrench me so I could take care of these anti-Semites. Are there anti-Semites in the chat? Anybody notice that? I don't know. I haven't seen anything too crazy, but is it, I don't know if you have any mod uh, moderators in here, do you? I, I just, uh, Stephen Miller is in here. Stephen Miller, what are you doing? You better be getting those anti-Semites. Stargate is good. SJ1 is really good. Let me see if I can... I need uh, Stephen Miller says a cow is just as beautiful as a horse. A no. puppy is the same as a rat, as no. a frog. And I'm down with eating whatever, but veal is where I draw a line. I agree, Stephen. Yeah, well, I don't I, like it. Yeah, veal, yeah. veal is the only thing that I won't eat. Um, you know, it's no, the only thing I just kind of enjoy. Farm, it that. just breaks your heart. You yeah. know what it is? Honestly, veal, the story of veal broke my heart when I found out that they were like, put in those boxes and they couldn't move. And then after like, I thought about it for a while, I was like, they still get more exercise than me. So then I felt fine with it. That's not true, Cecil. You have to walk up and down stairs. At least, at least once a day. Yeah, we heard you do it during the stream. I, mm -hmm. I, I when, And you know what I do when I walk up those stairs? You know what I say to myself? Hmm. I wish I was a veal. No. That's sad. <coughs> I hate exercise. Stephen Miller says, I got him. Bob Thank Rogers you. for two dollars. She sent me. <laughs> Excuse me. Nice. I'm sorry. I, uh, most of that was not. Don't worry. Uh Bob <laughs> Rogers for two dollars Canadian. John, what's the exchange rate on that? Uh you, you should just refund it. I so own, I believe I own Canada forty dollars for this super chat. She says, uh do you have type O negative blood, Anna? No, I have A positive. How do you know? Who knows? Um, I was getting a physical years ago, and it determined uh, on if I got more shots or not, on if I had positive or negative blood. And I, the lady was, like, freaking out for me because she, I was crying just knowing that she had to prick my finger because, I, like I said, I'm deathly afraid of needles, and my sisters think it's the funniest thing in the world because they'll record me because I... I start crying when I find out I have to get a shot before they even bring the needles in the room. And I'm just like, oh, my God, no, I'm not getting another shot. Like, I'm, I'm not getting anything. She's like, I just have to prick your finger. I'm like, don't prick my finger. Prick, prick my freaking leg or something that's not so sensitive. Like, you guys are doctors. You should have come up with something better. Why on earth are we so barbaric that we still have to stick ourselves with needles? Like, there should be something better than this. Like, advance yourself in science, you peasants. And, mm. like, I, and I'm, you know, crying while i'm saying all this because like there's no reason why in this day and age we should still be sh like sticking needles in our bodies savages 
And so she was like, I sincerely hope that you have positive blood because I do not want to give you another shot. And now, I now, to- now I want Anna to start a new channel called That Patient Girl. Yeah. And no. just start going off on doctors. Oh, that impatient God. girl. Uh, no. I, I just, I've never had a good experience with a doctor. They're all like evil. So I just, I can't, I can't deal with people that have mm-hmm. complexes. Georgie right. Osus says, LOL, so much hate for Canada. Geez, no, we just hate how cheap you guys are. Uh, so we're no, trying to tell- uh, I love Canada, but I love making fun of Canada. But then somebody in my, in my uh, Twitter was like, hey, you always make fun of Canada and it actually hurts my feelings. So I actually yeah. stopped making No, guys, guys, I was vaccinated and it was horrifying. Okay. There's Anna talking to the chat again. Like, huh? What? What are you talking uh, about, Anna? All right. Uh, Logan Michael Ante Funko Pops for 299 says Halloween 2 is confirmed. They're releasing it on October 16, 2020. All right. Now. Well hung and dung for two euros says would Anna choke a chicken l- on a live stream? No. Hmm. How much to choke a chicken? No, they would peck me. Uh, chickens are freaking mean. I don't think they you guys are. understand. We had this one rooster for years, and I kept telling my dad to kill it. I'm like, you better kill this damn rooster. And his name was Foster Farms, and he was the meanest fucking rooster ever. I remember one time I went out and I was feeding all the chickens, and you know, of course, the rooster. And I put all the feed down, and it was the nice stuff because I was like, okay, I know I have to feed these chickens and rooster, so I need to make sure that they're distracted so they don't bother me. I feed them the nice grain. I go around to go feed the goats, and then I'm coming back out of the barn. This fucker turns around and goes to attack me and i was smart i had a stick with me and i whacked him in the neck because he was coming at me and he went flying and like the feathers were all puffed up on his neck for like a month and i was like you fucker i fed you the nice stuff and you still want to attack me and then finally finally after 15 years i get a text from my dad and he's like foster died and i was like good good 15 years too long well, the right thing to do if a chicken is bothering you is to take a pair of wire cutters and cut their beak off really close to their skull, and then they suffer until they starve to death. No, because then they make noise, oh, and yeah. then they're still there. And then just that I, I don't want to watch an animal suffer, but the, this stupid rooster was evil. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was on a, I was on a farm doing some tree trimming when I was younger, and every time my back was turned to this rooster, he would he would come running up behind me, and I'd, I'd catch him just last second. He was trying to jump up and spur me. Motherfucker. Yeah, roosters suck. Yeah. Roosters are evil. Ah. Well, guys, it's that part of the night where we decide whether we're just gonna forage on like morons or call it quits. It's up to yeah. you. It's your stream, Cecil. Farage on it is. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I'm see that coming. <laughs> uh, Larry Romano with a respectable chat. One dollar. That's a, that's. A, I think that's the high chat of the day because we got nine ninety nines, but never a full ten. Well, that's you redemption. Have a very large super chat, Cecil. I'm well, sorry. I'm gonna buy you something pretty when I see you, Anna. Not with this kind of money. <laughs> I got 10 bucks here. <laughs> uh, good stream, guys, from La- Ra- Larry Romano. Oh, my gosh. I need to show. I haven't shown anyone this, guys. I'm so proud of myself. I built a stand for my action figures. Like, all my- I want it. Let me get it down. Wait, uh, are we locked on you anyway? Did I lock I- on you? Okay, let, let, give me a second because I've been reorganizing my studio. Oh shit, this is too John. Much. Can you put on the Liu Jackman with uh, LL Cool J? Yeah, uh, there's no audio for it, but I can hit play, so we'll check it out. Do not ruin Hugh Jackman for me, John. I'll kill you. Well, he's he's looking good. He's in a suit. He's got a beard. He always looks good. Definitely not as uh, gay as that other performance. He's not uh, gay. LL Cool J and some other guy that I don't know. He's not gay. He's an actor. First of all, hold on a second. I'll find it. Okay. Now I'll I see if I get on my mic. Oh, you're gonna get. You're gonna play it with the volume. Yeah. Hold on a second. What all was right. it? You, Jackman. No, I need to show you guys this. What is this guy doing with this mic here? Can you guys see me? What is he trying to tell us? Can you guys see me? Are you on? Hold on. Is she on I, the screen? I shit. 
damn it. Okay, all my action figures are falling. I built this myself. I went to Home Depot, and I got planks of wood, and I painted them, and then as my action figures fall. And then I ordered all of these stands from eBay, and I screwed them all on, and then I can display my action figures. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, why are they falling off if they get screwed on, though? Because I just picked this up, and I, did it. I was kind of just placing them to see how they fit. Ah, uh -huh, right. But, yeah, I'm redoing my entire setup, so I, I got all this stuff. So I, I had to – I have to make more of these, but I was proud of myself. I did it. I, I made a stand for my action figures. Which yeah, one fell good. off? Revan, Anakin, Indiana Jones, and – um, Can't let Indy fall. That's like letting the American flag fall. He was going for Anakin. He had to save it. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Oh, yeah. there's a cleaning bottle back there. Huh? That, that should embarrass you, that cleaning bottle. What the yellow clean one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was Well, I mean, I was taking off everything off my wall because I used to have a shelf. I used to have that. So that yeah, you don't want to show people how the donuts are made. Why? Because there's a there's a cleaning it, bottle? I mean, it, it, I, it humanizes I, you. You're supposed to be like a God-level um, person, infallible. So I clean. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm awful. I'm awful. Well, I, I just dropped all these action figures, so I don't think I'm exactly godlike. Yeah, good well, point. Good I point. always let people that know that I never clean. That's part of. See, I don't like cleaning, but when it gets to a point like I can't focus on anything else, I'm like, oh, I have to. Coach Especially when like, says activity. Indiana Jones is my favorite Jedi. <laughs> he doesn't need the Force. He's Indiana freaking Jones. Yeah. He has his whip in it. All right, can you guys be quiet? I'm going to put this on. Yes, we'll be quiet, Cecil, just for you. John, I'm going to put the. I don't know if it'll work, though. I don't know if this mic will pick it up. It won't. Uh, be sure you lock on your screen, Cecil. Don't tell me what to do. Okay. It won't, but do it anyway. Mine first came true when I was 14, and I auditioned for my first show. Can't see it. We, we can hear it. Can you hear it? Can't see it, though. Mm -hmm. But can you hear it? Yes. Yeah. Rock Island, you know the one with the eight traveling salesmen? Yeah, well, I memorized all eight parts, and I still remember every word. Do you want me to do a little bit for you? Okay. Okay. Uh, fellas, I need some drums. Uh, you got some drums? Here, give it. Ah, oh, look at that. Okay, ready? Yeah, remember, fella, by the name of Hill. 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 No. Just a minute. Just a minute. Never heard of any salesman. Hill. Now he doesn't know the territory. Doesn't know the territory. What's the fellow's like? Never worries about his life. Never worries about his life. Or a dog. He's just a bang, deep bell, ring a big hole, and great goal, neck another rip, roar, and every dollar bulls are salesmen. That's for the house. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Now, if you think about it, if you think about it, as I was doing my bad rap, Broadway composer Meredith Wilson, he might have actually created one of the very first rap songs ever back in 1957. Right? So you know what? We're not in Sydney, Australia anymore. We're in New York City. I think it's time we brought the Music Man into the 21st century. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome LL Cool J and T.I. Give me a beat.
rap music. Yeah, so who did they say invented rap? What a de what a delight. This is a new revel new revelation for me in my war against rap. Who invented rap then? Someone from the 1950s? I believe it was whoever wrote the music man invented rap. Probably some Jewish guy. Wait, hold on a second. What the fuck is going on? Something's playing behind you. Sorry. This is a great time for Kelsey to be here to tell us about how Jews created rap. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a thing? Kelsey believes the Jews created everything? We don't know. Kelsey's a mystery wrapped in a puzzle <laughs> in an enigma. Gotcha. No, we're we're uh, we're we're writing hang ups for him actually. Hmm. <laughs> I can't yeah. stand around music. All right, so what what did everyone think of the uh, Hugh Jackman stuff? Oh my god, it was wonderful. I mean Hugh Jackman is perfection wrapped in human form. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I feel like when Anna was watching that, she was just like, oh my God, I love Hugh Jackman. Well, it was blurry and then the rap music was starting. So I was like, I can maybe tolerate it if it's Hugh Jackman, but I can't even see him. So this is just pain. Oh, you know what it is? It's like, how can rap get better? And then all of a sudden it's like, well, we'll add like an old musical to it and Wolverine. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I agree with uh, Justin Mabe in, in there and in cringe. Like, that's how I felt. I was like, this just feels uncomfortable. Cringe. Like, no. crowd and, and it's like, can they find anyone find the beat in there? And uh, yeah. No so good. With this terrible trash accent. He does not have a trash oh. accent. Uh, Australian's the worst. No, it's not. Pretty much. No. You just got a thing for New Zealand. When did I ever say I have a thing for New Zealand? When you, you want to be married, married at the Shire? Well, yeah. that's because that's where the Shire is. Aside from New Zealand, like what what else do they have? Sheep? Like, I don't know much about New Zealand, but I know that's where the Hobbit Village is, and that's where I want to go. But I, I think that Australian and New Zealand accents the music, are man. I just don't like rap music. All right. I really have to pee, so I'll be right back. All right. Um Guitar Jedi says, I miss homophobic rappers. I don't know. I don't think that was homophobic. I think that was homoerotic. No, no, no homoerotic at, at best. Yeah. Cecil, I think she called you a sheep. Here you go. Mm. Crank Gorilla, everyone already knows Jews invented rap. You're just in a normie bubble. It's possible. Mm. I don't ever consider myself a rap and aficionado. Um, I am aware that. Vanilla Ice popularized it for our generation, um, along with the great Beastie Boys. Who were and uh, they were Jewish. You know, yeah, they taught all those New York rappers how to dress and how to wear gold. Yeah. Sage Ali sends a super chat of You know, now now rap does sound very Jewish. <laughs> how to rap or how to dress and how to how to wear gold. Isn't that I, a Jewish stereotype? Yeah. Yeah. Why do you think they call it jewelry? Ooh, snap. Hey, that's what that Ardian Saif guy got yeah. Yeah. nabbed for when he snuck that into the uh, x I'm ready comment. to get thrown off of YouTube. Why do you think their last names are Goldman and Diamond? Wait, whose last names? What? Oh. Yeah, I'm breaking up the conspiracy. Yeah, are, the, are you talking to people in chat, Cecil? No, I'm talking to the world because Justin Mabe says for $20, thanks for the entertaining stream tonight, Cecil, is life. Thank you. That's mm -hmm. the highest uh, stream of the night, $20. Uh, obviously, Justin Mabe's last name is not Goldman or Diamond. Is that what you're trying to say, John? Mm-hmm. Uh, people in, in chat really think I'm onto something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What did I yeah. miss? Um, Just John's anti-Semitic rant. Yeah, that pretty much uh, it does make sense if uh, if rap was invented by a Jewish songwriter from the fifties. Mm. That in the culture of rap, it's a, it's got a lot to do about good style and gold, mm. gold teeth, gold necklaces. You know, this is a Jewish uh, stereotype that they yeah. you know, Silverman, like that gold. Goldman. Yeah. I'm going to Jesse, and she's going to rip you a new one. Yes. Fine. What? Jesse's Jewish. And? 
What is she going to rip? Fan, like anti semitic Oh my God. DJ Fox just beat Justin Mabe. Well, I think, I, think Jesse to, I think Jesse might be able to open our mind to the creation of the invention of rap. Jesse wants to open my mind with a sledgehammer. Uh, <laughs> Sage Ollie for $5 says, I wish I was a horse near a cliff right now. I don't know what that Why? means, but be careful. My God, I, I hope. Oh my God, I, I worry about horses near cliffs all the time. Mm. DJ Fox put $20.99, highest super chat of the night. And he didn't put a message. You Not even a message. That's just showing off at that point. Yeah, that's just slipping a 20 he in your just, Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's respect. Yeah, that's throwing coins at you after your pants are off. If, you, if anybody knows what that means. No, to this next super chat. Well hung and dung says, Would Anna sing Jew homophobic rap on a live stream? Anna, of course she would. No, Anna, no, no, no. The only if I were a rich man, ever, quickly. Hmm. What? The only <clears throat> rap I know that I would sing is by Hollywood Undead. Oh Hollywood. my gosh. <laughs> you know that? I yeah, the they they sound well, one of them sounds like um Eminem. Yeah, they all wear masks, right? Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Is our is our chat turning? Go ahead, wrap wrap a Hollywood Undead song. No, I have, I just have one verse. A drunker and the music has to be playing really loud. But I can tell you, I can do the entire thing for uh, everywhere we go. I can, can you see. do the Music Man with LL? No, no, I do not know the words to Music Man. Well, do you want me to replay it so you can hear it? No, I have no desire. I'd never liked Music Man. <sighs> Horrible there, piece there of probably yeah, some serious <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, there's probably serious homophobic rap in the 80s and 90s, right? I don't know. Anything come to mind, Cecil? Um there had to be had to be in the 80s. Like really? just some blatant blatant uh, Yes, yes. Yeah, LL Cool J from their first album they had a song called I Hate uh a cocksucking homos. That was a big song. Are you serious? Yeah. No. That was, is that what it was called? Yeah, that was a big hit on New York radio. I remember it as a child. Wow. No, that wouldn't go today. No way. Yeah. You know what else wouldn't go today? Um, what is it? Will Smith, uh, Fresh Prince. You saw my blinker, bitch. Like it's actually he. I think in the song he starts beating the woman. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. That makes me sick. I'm currently bidding on eBay for a dark side action figure, and this fucking person is just going at it, and I'm going to kill them. Well, I'm not literally going to kill them. People do not take that the wrong way. I'm going to, like, destroy them with bidding against them because I want this action figure. Too late. Clipped. You don't know which one I'm bidding on. I know. Can you just honestly I'm – trying, I'm trying to keep this stream up. Can you watch oh. what you're saying? Hello, <laughs> soul for Australian five dollars. And today I learned about little people of New Zealand that eat <laughs> horses and rap and were created by the Hebrews living in the ghetto of Egypt. Yeah, this whole stream has been just a history lesson. I I I, I thank God people are listening. And if we could just spread the word of what 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 we're trying to say here. What yeah, Blondie to- was also a big contributor to rap. If Blondie, I recall. yeah, rapture. Oh with num- that was the first recorded rap album, Rapture with Blondie. Debbie Harry. What a name. Yeah. Mm. Debbie. Then why hasn't John Lennon been persecuted for jealous guy? Because a dude shot him in the fucking back in 1981. Yep. I'm actually wearing a Beatles t-shirt right now. That's funny. Yeah, real funny. Mm. I you didn't know anything about that, though, did you? I did. I did know that. I'm a huge Beatles fan. Stephen I actually Miller, met Paul McCarthy. Stephen you, Miller says, Malin likes to watch the world burn. I agree. Yeah, some people do like to watch. Anna, yeah. is it true that your real father's name is David Chapman? No, my father's name is Tony. Mark David Chapman? No, my dad's name is Tony. John Hinckley Jr.? name is tony james earl ray why do all of these people have three names <laughs> my daddy's name is tony wasn't there a uh 
um oh who's that band pixies and they have a song about tony i don't know the pixies have a song about tony danza pixies i tried to make that 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 goddamn elton john joke and then the fucking tony theme. to it tony soprano this is a song about a superhero named tony it's called tony's theme is that right is that how it goes i don't know anna you know Every time I think John Malin can't get any gayer, he proves me wrong. What were you thinking? <laughs> well, with the Pixies, Pixies are uh They sang a song about Tony, the P- Pixies? Yeah. Tony's theme. Well, John That's has the, the wife, song. so he can always blame on the that he kn- knows it because his wife listens to it. I went to Oh, a, yeah, dude. I, I went yeah, to she's, in, she's into, like, Morrissey and The Cure, <laughs> like, all the bands I... Totally had no interest in. I but, went yeah. to a Pixie concert at the Garden like two months ago, and I put photos up from the concert, and I don't remember what you're talking about. Huh. I guess I'm hip, more hip than you, Cecil. Oh, my gosh, Cecil. I just remembered something that I, I wanted. I guarantee my hips are wider than yours. What's that? I wanted to point something out from earlier when – Kelsey was talking about Crusher and how he didn't like her because she was old or something. Did you know that Gates McFadden knew David Bowie and gave him dancing lessons? I did not know that. You didn't know that? She was a choreographer for uh, Labyrinth. Well, I know there's an episode where she's teaching Data to be a uh, tap dancer, and you could see she's a trained classical dancer. Mm-hmm. She yeah, so she dance. thought uh, David Bowie had a ballroom dance. Yeah, yeah, she she's obviously from that scene, but then you also see that David Spinner is uh is a dancer as well. He was a Broadway guy. Yeah, all of them. I feel like all of the people that were on Star Trek had Brent Spinner, not David Spinner. Brent Spinner was a Broadway guy as well because she starts teaching him how to tap dance and and Data starts uh I wonder if he would do an interview if we raised money for that. Do you want to know something? Huh. A, a good friend of mine without I mean, a, a dear friend of mine, like hmm. a very close friend of mine, was out to dinner at a restaurant in Manhattan, and she was with all her friends, and she handed a guy a camera and said, can I get a picture? And it was Brent Spinner, and he thought with him, and she had no idea who he was. And she meant, can you take a picture of all of us? And, oh he, and he took the picture of all of them. And then when she handed the camera back to him, he said, oh, I thought you wanted it with me because, you know, I'm an actor. And she's like, oh, I have no idea who you are. And then his yeah. wife his wife came over. She's like, oh, I talked to them for like 40 minutes. We had drinks together. I'm like, so did you ever get a picture with them? She's like, no. Oh, no. How did <laughs> um, she find out it was Brent Spinner? Because uh, KSS is saying it's Spiner, not Spinner. Um, sorry, sorry. But one, yeah. of my, one of my dumbass friends ran into Mark Wahlberg and she thought he was Matt Damon. <laughs> and she's like, she posted it on Facebook and everything. And she's like, oh, look, I'm at Matt Damon. And I was like, you dumbass. I was like, that's Mark Wahlberg. And she's like, no, it's not. I was like, yes, it is. And I showed her like the IMDb and everyone just ripped her a new one. I'm like, I cannot believe you met Mark Wahlberg. And you called it like how? How do you not know who that is? But uh, that's got to be very, right very call. annoying for celebrities, especially like mid-tier celebrities that probably are always being called the wrong name. Yeah, especially since uh, Mark Wahlberg murders Matt Damon at the end of the the, the Departed. Blue. I haven't seen oh. that movie, so thank you for ruining it for me. Oh no, I'm sorry. I meant. To... <laughs> Did you never see that movie? No, I don't like uh, Martin Scorsese movies. What are you fucking retarded? No offense. No, I just, oh. I just, oh, I Jesus. honestly don't like them. Like, I mean, I watched. That's I, saying, no, I just don't like one of the greatest filmmakers ever in the history. Okay, well, let me tell you, I don't like movies about gangs. Like, I think that The Godfather is one of the most boring movies I've ever seen in my life. And so when well, I found Scorsese. I didn't- like the Godfather. Right? I know. I'm just telling you, I don't like gangster and, movies. So when ta- oh, somebody God. told me that, oh, this movie's about gangsters, I'm like, I don't want to watch it. I'm not interested it's in it. Godfather just like I watched. Is- um, hmm. and what? The Godfather and the Godfather two are the two most perfect movies ever created. No, no, no. no. Empire Strikes Back is one of the most perfect movies ever made. Uh, the Shawshank Redemption, Silence of the Lambs, those are perfect movies. When those I are good movies. 
Those are good movies, but all of them try to be Godfather one or no, two. Godfather is so incredibly boring. I, I tried. I sincerely tried. Everyone got. When was the last time you tried? In college, so like four years ago, you and I do again. not feel like I need to do that to myself. Try again. again. There will be a what was that other movie. I, 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 I honestly have made people try again. And no. Come back to me, and they're like. Cecil, I hated that fucking movie. And then th I forced them to watch it again. And they're like, all of a sudden their eyes are open and they're like, holy no, shit, no, this I, is the greatest fucking movie of all time. What, what's that other gangster movie? I, is it Goodfellas? I, my friend was like, this is the best movie I've ever seen. It's my favorite movie. We watch it. I was like, that was a waste of my life. I'm never going to get those hours of my life back. I don't like these movies. Like, I, I'm just not interested in movies about people that are involved with crimes and stuff like that. Like, if it's James Bond and it's, like, a spy trying to get the bad guy and the bad guy's, like, a gangster, that I can buy into. But when it's about people in crime, I'm just, I'm not sympathetic to them. I'm like, I think you all should die. You know, you guys all did it to yourselves. Just, you know, I'm, I'm not sympathetic at all. So, I'm, I'm just glad Kelsey is unconscious so he couldn't hear this. Why does he like The Godfather? No, I mean, he's a normal human being, so he probably thinks the greatest movie ever made was pretty good. No, mm. it was not the greatest movie ever made. What was the greatest movie ever made? I already told you. Wrong. That. No, no, I'm not wrong. <laughs> oh, my God. You're lucky you have webbed toes. No, it's, I'm just, it's not a category of movies that I like. And, I mean, I tried watching, what it was uh, Gangs of New York, was that Scorsese? Yeah, it was Scorsese, but that's not one of his best. Yeah, well, I, I didn't like that one. Like, Daniel Day-Lewis did a phenomenal job, but I didn't like that movie. Please me... rewatch Godfather 2 as an adult. Now that you're a, a big girl, you can rewatch Godfather 2. I, I was an adult when I watched it. Let me see. It was last week, Cecil. No, it was four years ago. Oh. No, four years ago, you were just but a child. No. It's true. No, you you were probably 16, 17, 18. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, that's another thing I'm pissed about. He did fucking silence. I'm so pissed off about that movie. Don't you dare do a movie about Portuguese people and cast the two worst actors in Hollywood as Portuguese people. Except oh, believe that, that was good. But uh, the, the other two idiots, no. Oh, these are his producers. Let me who find who are these actors in Silence? It's fucking Kylo Ren and the horrible Spider-Man dude. Oh, oh, Tom Holland. No, no, not Tom Holland. He's oh, good Andrew, guy. Andrew. Yeah, something. that dude. Awful, 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 awful. Andrew They're Garfield. They're not Portuguese. They do not use those terrible people to represent my people. Andrew Garfield is the is honestly the best Portuguese person I've ever met. He is not Portuguese. That's what I'm yeah, saying. that driver dude's got such a weird face and body. Okay, thank you. Yeah, he should be in like uh, only I'll, in. I'll uh, give this to you, Cecil. I really like. I movie. love Adam Driver's big, broad chest. I would show gay porn wow. on it. Okay, what? Shutter Island sucked. I'm, I'm going through all of his movies that he's directed. I hated Shutter Island. Never saw The Departed. The Aviator. I never watched. Gangs in New York. I thought was boring. Uh, Casino, I never watched. Goodfellas, I hated that movie. One of the greatest, greatest, greatest achievements ever put to film. I don't like movies about gangsters. Even the opening Not scene. Like Look at the opening scene. The opening scene is them digging a grave by the fucking light of the fucking brake lights of a car. It doesn't matter. I don't they're, like that. Type they're in hell. They're literally in hell. The red light is shining on them. As they dig the grave. It's it every fucking like frame of his movies are perfect. No. No, they're not. It's like Wes Anderson. Wes Anderson, he's really good at, you know, the, the storyboards for his movies. Shot by shot, great. But the story kind of falls off a bit after you get into the second act of the Which movie. Which Wes Anderson movie don't you like? No, I like Wes Anderson movies, but I'm just saying, as far as the storytelling goes, it kind of drags on the second half of the movie. But I like Wes Anderson films. I think he should have actually read Fantastic Mr. Fox before making a movie on it, but it's, I like the movie. What about what about uh, the Royal Tannenbaums? You like that movie? I did like it, but again, I feel like it kind of fell off on the second act. No, you're wrong. It's an excellent no, 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 for that movie. No. 
it, it drags. That's the only thing about Wes Anderson films is they start to drag after a while. But I really like the world. And what about Rushmore? Do you ever see Rushmore? Oh, that was a long time ago. It, it's like I can see it in my mind, but it's blurry. I think I might have been drinking when I watched it, though. So that might be a contributing factor. Truth. Every movie I've ever seen, I was completely blind drunk. And I remember every word. No, I'm not. I remember yeah. the important words. Mr. V uh, thinks you just hate Italian Americans. Yeah, I'm starting to get it. I'm getting, I, that's the vibe I'm getting here. You, you, I, what, I is, what has Italy done to Portugal historically? Yeah, exactly. No. I Also, did you notice how many times she said the word Guinea in the last few minutes? Guinea. All over. The place. Guinea? All over. All over. <laughs> Dagger, Wap, Guinea, Greaseball. How many um, things are you going to say? You don't even realize you're saying it. I, I don't know what Guinea means, but I'll, like oh, Guinea pigs. It was pigs. on rapid fire. I was covering oh my, my ears. God. Like Guinea pigs? Oh, my God. No, I love it gets worse. It gets worse. Just mm -hmm. stop now, Anna. What now that pigs as well. An animal. You were talking about a, like a little, like it's bigger than a hamster. It's a guinea pig. And they run in the little balls. This I'm is a good segue that. for Richard Gere and the gerbil. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there are plenty of great movies that are made by Italian people. And uh, Italians make fantastic food well so, name, name of italian uh director you enjoy that's exactly what we expect anti-italians to say my best friend <laughs> is a spaghetti Some of my best friends are filthy dagos uh you let, 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 you said that? let me find all of these okay unbelievable i'm gonna google italian directors because i'm not good with names Like Anybody would be able to pull up a hundred of them. They're some of the greatest directors of all time. Okay, well, I'm sorry. You, ever I, Fellini? I, you had to tell me what they've directed. You ever hear of Francis for Coppola? You ever hear? Yes, I have. I have. Martin Scorsese? Uh, I, 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 I don't really like his movies, so why Lin would Lin I? Lin? Have you ever heard of Steven Seagal? Yes, I have. My mom loves him. That explains a lot. <laughs> Why? Because my mom loves Steven Seagal. Yeah, he shoots people too. Yeah, but not with that, a camera though. With he's a camera. manly man that my mom yeah. likes. Uh, Bjorn from Sek twenty dollars. I don't know what is Sek Sweden Kroner. Mm -hmm. uh, say gerbil three times, and Richard Gear will appear. Gerbil, gerbil, gerbil. I love Richard Gear. Hmm. You might have to do it in a bathroom in a mirror. That's what I do everything. <laughs> um, Steven uh, Sinister says, Anna watched Airplane with a straight face. I've never Is seen that. that. She didn't Airplane with the exclamation yeah. point. She didn't know it was a fucking comedy. She thought, no, I know that Airplane is a comedy, and I've seen it. Do the you, Anna? Sometimes I wonder. No. I we had the VHS, but it was ripped, so I never watched it. But I know I've seen commercials for it, and I've you know, but we had the VHS, so I know what the cover of the movie looks like. But I've never watched it. Well, smoke, smoke a little weed, smoke a little weed, and go watch Airplane again. I don't I can't believe it's just it's just so many people saying kick Anna. Over I'm again. sorry, guys. I don't like movies about gangsters. It's just not my thing. And now that I the Departed has been spoiled for me, thanks to Cecil, I have no desire to watch it. What about Chuck Mangione? Says Jethro Fox. Do you like his music? Chuck, I, what does he sing? Boop, 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 boop. I, I'll, I'm going to play Chuck Mangione for you. Hold on. I, I can't do it justice. Okay. Let me look at this. Wait, I, might, I might get a copyright strike for that, won't I? Yeah, if it, I'll just put it in my notes and I'll listen to it later. I'm gonna take a chance. I don't give a shit. I don't believe that Italian. Oh, guy. Chat, Cecil. Here he is. Hold on. Okay, what year did this damn movie come out? One of the exciting things about writing and I'm getting commercials. Hold on. Okay. You'll know this when you hear it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Oh, Jack Nicholson was in this movie. Yeah, I've 
heard this. You know that song? I've heard it. It's not the thing I turn on to go jam. You fucking probably hate it because he's an Italian, right? No. Look at the way you said no. It wasn't even no, forced. I'm, sorry. I'm looking at the the pictures for The Departed. Yeah, the, I I mean, I'm not a Jack Nicholson fan. I'm not really a Leo fan. I don't I even know if Jack him. Nicholson's Italian. You don't even have to hate him. No, I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> I, when I look at movies, I look at what the basic plot of it is to see if I'm interested. If it says, oh, look, an undercover undercover cop and a mole in the police attempt to identify each other while infiltrating an Irish oh, see the departed it's such in a South Boston. Movie. It's okay so I, I have no desire to watch this movie absolutely none and I'm looking at the cast okay look at the cast it's got Leonardo DiCaprio Mark Wahlberg Okay, um, Mark Wahlberg is like maybe I'll watch it for him, but I'm not a Jack Nicholson fan. I Jack like Nicholson. Him, it's got Adam Baldwin. It's got fucking what's his name, Matt Damon. It's literally star studded with the one of the greatest directors of all time. And you're like, meh. I'll watch Empire one more time. I've I never seen Empire. You. No, I'll, I'll go watch a different movie. I'll go watch Star Wars again. But this is just—it's not my cup of tea. You know, I just what, don't what like about, What about The Shining? I have only seen it once. Mm. And it scared me. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the point. It was very disturbing. And, well, see, I'm one of those people that I like my solitude. So I 100% could survive in a place like that by myself as long as I had, like, an animal with me. Because animals can sense when things are off. But, like, I, I wouldn't want to be stuck there with, like, people because then you know people can go fucking crazy like jack nicholson did but what jack if your animal is a dog the dog from the thing from the thing you know, yeah oh, hell no the husky yeah oh then i'd fucking kill it if it's a if it's an alien that's trying to like possess me and like transform me no that thing's gonna die um yeah i i i watched literally they did a re in a new york theater with a full audience they did a read thing of the uh shining in a in a theater recently and i went i got tickets there was only a few hundred tickets and i got a ticket a great seat and honestly it scared the pants off of me and and then, and then they threw me off well that's what you told the cops well they threw me out of the theater <laughs> i mean oh uh, eric s has a good point says uh anna likes the creature from the black lagoon she relates to the webbed feet hmm. uh. Have you ever seen this movie? Or what's that new fish I have, movie? I have seen The Creature. I watched it when I was Hold on. We had the black and white one. Right on. I have a, a mask on right now that's very Creature of the Last. Black Lagoon-esque. <laughs> creature of the Black Lagoon-esque. Somebody sent me this wonderful hat. They never. They didn't even tell me who they were. But look at this. Is this great? It's or what? The, it, that's Spider-Man's hat. No, it's not Spider Man's hat. It's some yeah. it, because it's like it makes it su it makes it sunglasses when you put it on. Yeah, it's his before he gets his suit. Mm. Is it? Yeah, the from Spider Man. Home right? Am I yeah. I feel like that's what right. I yeah. A lot of people will always say, you know, Cecil, what do you look like? Well, here I am. This is it. What you see is what you get. Is there a reason you don't show your face, or is it just like security? Um. Yes, for security reasons. Mm. I wish I. You don't show your face. Let me he's tell got, you. He's got rich friends in high places. If I was, uh, honestly, if I was very handsome, I would probably have my face all over the fucking place. But yeah. here we are. Here we. <laughs> this is what we're <laughs> No, I, I've shown my face. I, I just don't do it abundantly. So, mm -hmm. like, if I do an auction or something like that, like if I'm going to sell something, I'll show it on there. So, you know, I was just trying to keep a low pro profile, really. Gotcha. Whoever sent me this hat, by the way, thank you. I appreciate it. I really enjoy it. <laughs> oh, I somebody else sent me something. You know, uh, John, you know Jay Potts? Uh, the name, not personally, yeah. He uh, does uh, Passion for Drawing. He, he has a uh, 
Indiegogo for a comic book. He sent me the original uh, for a coloring book. He sent me oh, the yeah. or original art. It's a three-armed Kelsey chasing Cecil. Oh, my God. It's the original art, part of the it's a adult coloring book. There's the Cecil being chased. Nice. And, here, awesome. and here's the three-armed Kelsey. Wait, why does Kelsey have three arms? Oh, hold on. I never read the back of this. There's, a, there's actually a letter. Hold on. Thank you for all that you do for Comicsgate. Here is some original art from Mathura's Man Menagerie of Monsters. It is you running from a three-armed Kelsey. I already got that just from looking at it. Um, mm -hmm. I also included some fan art. Enjoy, passion for drawing. And that's J Pot Studio. Uh, so, yeah, this is a, an adult coloring book he sold. I actually ordered a copy. That is Kelsey, the three-armed ogre, and he's chasing me. Nice. That's a good yeah, drawing. Very good. Yeah, he's an excellent artist. Let me see what the other art is. Mm, rub it in, Cecil. Let me see. No. Uh, you sent me oh, he sent me a that? Look at this. I to you stuff. He sent yeah, me. No one sends me anything. Well, I got, I'm wearing the mask. There's a bunch of punks out there. You don't have a P.O. box, do you? I yeah, am. yeah, I do, but I, I, I don't really promote anything, so. Honestly, though. How cute. It doesn't make sense. This is a, he. He sent me a, a, an original uh, card that he drew of me. Yeah, <laughs> you kind of look like the Lorax in that one. The Lorax is that? Yeah. Uh, it's Doctor Seuss. Oh yeah, the the Grinch is that no, the people? No, the Lorax, the guy that wants to save the trees. Oh, of course, Daisy Grinch. do that. I, no. You know who did do that? DeVito. Danny DeVito was the voice. He did. he did the new version, and it was really bad. You know, I like the original. Like the you animation. know, it's so funny. The new version with Danny DeVito, which is a bit of an ethnic name for you, I imagine. Oh, uh, my God. It's the bad one. I'll DeVito tell you Scorsese. my last name off air, and you can't judge me for whatever it is, the, the, the ethnicness. You hate the uh, the Italian. I'm sure you pronounce it Italian. I'm positive. I do not pronounce Italian. Italian. I pronounce it Italian. I am. Uh, my bottles are all empty. I need. You still have some of that one. I got a little here, but I need ice. All right. Should we should we wrap it up? It's up to you. Or five more minutes. Let's go to the chat. If they say five more minutes, we'll do five more minutes. I'm surprised we held on to this many people on a second stream. How many people are here? Uh, 345. That's that's uh, that's solid. Yeah, everyone, if you haven't, smash that like button for Cecil. Use the force. Like yeah. that smash button. Yeah, sub subscribe, ring the bell, you know, all that stuff. Some, people, some people are saying five more minutes is too long. Some people are saying four more minutes. And people say 20 more, five more, five more. I like that. 15 more. I like the four more minutes. I just please. got 60 minutes. I, I'm gonna go get what I'm gonna get one beer. I could drink a beer in a lot less time than five minutes. So I, I, I love that. I love that smoke banshee wrote. I just got here, but it's a question mark and an exclamation point. <laughs> I just got here. Not hey, sure. Where are you Maybe. I'll be back in a minute. All right. Uh, Giorgio Sousa says, Anna, start a chat. We'll come over. Smiley face. I don't know. That's. Oh, I do like Reservoir Dogs, James. I do. I love it. Oh, there you it. go. That's a, that's a gangster movie. Uh, yeah, but that one's like a heist gone wrong. And I love, well, I'm, I'm impartial. I love almost everything that Quentin Tarantino does. Cause I like that he shows like the highest level of intellect a person can have and then shows the exact opposite when in certain situations they're even though they're insanely intelligent they'll revert to that animalistic nature and i love the way he does that so every how everyone says he's going to do a star trek movie i'm like yes fucking do it i'm ready i want to see this like i think he should do like if he did a star trek that would be amazing if he did um, oh my god, what is it called? If he did Star Wars, but did like bounty hunters, like if mm. he directs an episode of The Mandalorian, like 
that will be one of the greatest episodes in TV history, I think. Yeah, no, that'd be fun. Um, I know he said that if he did Star Trek, that he would be looking at doing something. I, I think he mentioned like two different episodes in The Next Generation, I think, where one was where they find the Enterprise. From the, both of them involved like time travel. It was where they found the other Enterprise and it changed the timeline and it made it all dark and militaristic. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I think he's going to do it with time travel, but I think it'd definitely be fun. Well, see, I would have loved to see him like work like back when Star Trek was in its height, like something with Spock, because you know how Spock, he's very composed. But because he has that part human, when Spock loses it, he fucking loses it. I would have loved to see him do like just a movie with like a full length feature length film with, you know, uh, New Spock. No, no, no. Leonard Nimoy and William Shatner, like the entire cast, but it's like a movie, like movie length, but it's shot as if it's just a regular Star Trek episode. And maybe like if he were to do, uh, if he were to have done Star Trek instead of fucking J.J. Abrams, he would have redone The Wrath of Khan and that would have been one of the most epic movies ever made. But no, instead we got the dumbass J.J. Abrams that can't do anything to save his life except to have lens flares. His but son, he's doing a, a Spider-Man comic with his son, which I'm very excited for. His son's doing a Spider-Man comic. Yeah, I think, dad, I'm, dad, you think Dad's spending any time on that? No, I, no one gives a shit. It's garbage. Yeah, right, I, we, got, we got one beer, people. Hold on, I'll, I'll click on me. We got this is the countdown. There we go. One fresh oh, another highlight. This is a champagne of beer, by the way. Fuck, yeah, fuck, Matt fuck. Becker, you can't go to bed yet. You lightweight. We got at least five minutes here. My my drink just overflowed because I opened it, but. Let me. I'll turn on my camera so I can cheers you. It's, oh. John, cheers. put your camera on. You're the only one that's afraid to show your face. You coward. Yeah, fear. Look, Maybe if I turn my happen. camera on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wake up to Twitter tomorrow, and there's gonna be a bunch of dicks in my <laughs> mouth. And I, I know exactly how these people work. I know our, I know our audience very well. John, you, John, you coward. Show your face. Oh, brother. All right, I don't have my makeup on. That's okay, I don't either. No, all right. Mm. All right, the stream will get deleted anyways, right, Cecil? I don't know. Kelsey's not here. I think we might be uh, okay. Even our anti-Semitic stuff seemed pretty tame. Yeah. <laughs> all right, here we go. Oh, shit, Boom. turn it off. Turn the fucking camera off. Turn it off. That's a yeah. John. Yeah, and uh, yeah, Ethan's like, yeah, when I turned it on, Ethan's channel, they're like, oh, yeah, everybody was horrified when John showed his face. John, your voice and your face match perfectly. You're a burly, like, mountain man who's chopping wood. Do you only yeah. have one dimple? Huh? You only have one dimple? No, I have two dimples. Oh, you have two dimples? Yeah. Yeah, I get a oh. lot of I get a lot of compliments on the dimple, dimples for some reason. My cousin, she's the only one in our family. She has dimples. And then she started dating this guy who had dimples too. And so when they had a baby, we we're just all waiting. We we're like, does he have dimples? Does he have dimples? And he does. So it's so cute. I have hundreds of dimples. They're all over my ass though. <laughs> uh, I, Kevin B says, I turned him gay. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Leodara, look, just how I imagine. See, people aren't horrified. Uh, Spirit car is telling me to shave. And this is about as good as it gets on a shave, guys. Do you have a cleft chin too? Uh, no, I got a pretty. My mom has a cleft chin. I have a mm -hmm. uh, normal. I think I don't know. Mm. It looks freakish to me. Uh, right did, I steal, uh, did I steal Kelsey's ceiling fan? No, I have blades. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm still convinced that that thing is spinning without blades at his house. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Yeah, that was so weird. What did Kevin say? He uh, said, Anna is not Anna, no longer gay. Oh, you straightened out somebody? Yeah, uh, Kevin. He saw John and all of a sudden became gay, and then he saw me, and now he's not gay. Yeah. Oh. I think you might be on the fence. I think you can be turned back. I have a couple of super chats, and then I got a little bit of beer left. Hold on. How have you? Like, I, I barely... 
tap this, but it's out. Hold on. Uh, Fury Road is better than Snorefather. What's Snorefather? Godfather. This is one of uh, your yeah. fans, one of your jerks. Oh, I like Fury Road. I uh, hold on a second. And DJ Fox, I'm going to say again, gave $20.99 to just dominate all. And then Well Hung and Done said, would, Santa, would Anna sing a Jew homophobic rap on live stream? Oh, we already no. Read that. no, and also I can't sing. But no, that, that's not the reason you wouldn't do it. No, I, I wouldn't do it because I'm not going to sing, you know, negative stuff about the Homo had about gay Jews. You're not against gay yeah. Jews at all. I'm not against, I'm not going to persecute someone for their religious beliefs, especially people that have been, you know, have horrible things happen to them throughout history. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Smoke Banshee says, Malin turns them out, Anna turns them in. Yeah. Uh, well hung and dung for two euros says, Anna is the Travis Buckle of killing animals. What? I think she meant Travis Bickle. That was from, uh, that's from Taxi Driver. I haven't seen it. Oh, it's a Martin Scorsese movie. It's just a That's fucking smart. masterpiece. That's all. Jodie um, Foster, um, Harvey Keitel, Robert De Niro. Just a masterpiece. Nothing to look at. Anna, um, you and your friend, your Jewish friend, Jesse, are uh, working uh, on a show. Yeah, we are. So everyone's been saying that me, her, and Mecca need to do a show together. It's just... We all have such crazy schedules, so it's really hard to like lock down time. So I think we're gonna do it just sporadically. But yeah, we are working on a show, so it's gonna That's be. So what are you guys gonna talk about? Just shoot the shit, or? Uh, just I think what's going on in like current events and stuff. Mm, oh, a little bit more kind of structured then. Maybe I think. Well, at least for me, when I have shows on my channel, I like to have kind of like an idea of how it's gonna go and how like like maybe little bullet points like okay well this happened so i want to make sure that we talk about this and get you know their what what they think about it and then uh you know other other things because i feel like that way if you have kind of structure then it kind of helps the conversation flow especially when there's somebody that you know has it locked down especially when it's you're on you know when you have guests coming onto your mm -hmm. channel i like to have that so it's not just let's kind of sit here and like stumble Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Ethan, Ethan has a, like a good hosting plan when he brings people on. Yeah, so I, I like to do that, but I've I've gotten. Uh, what is Mecca? I, is is that the third person? Yeah, she she's the girl with the red hair. She talks a lot about Star Trek. She was on a lot of uh, shows with Doom Cop, so she like tries to cover everything. So she's really nice. I've only spoken to her a couple of times, but she's cool. but everyone's been asking us for a really long time. So finally, like. I made a group chat on Twitter and was like, let's do this type of thing. And yeah. so we're, we're going to do it. We're, we're finally nice. going to do it. Uh, yeah. How long have you and that Jesse girl known each other? I, I saw you, her, and I think a voice actor were all on a stream together in the same house. So you guys yeah, seem like you're good friends. Yeah, that was Jesse's house. So I met Jesse, I think, back in September. Uh, hold on a second. They got an idea for the name. Uh, I already have Phantom Harlack says the female high council should be called the thigh council. No, <laughs> no. Uh, I mean, I know what my thighs look like, but I, I don't know about, well, I know obviously I met Jesse in person, but I don't know what Mecca's thighs look like, but no, we already have a name. It will be announced on the first show. So get excited. But uh, yeah, we were going to, we're going to do that and kind of be the thing that jumps from show to show, but uh, that will be announced on our first show. Yep. Cool. Cool. Nice. How's your beer, Cecil? What's that? How's your beer going? Hold on. We're almost done. Hold on. We got two more super we're chats. Done? Jeez, okay. Uh, Jag for $2 says, Sergio Leone says, The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly is the greatest film ever. Uh, just directed by, an, by one of those dirty Italians, Anna. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, Sergio Leone. I have nothing against Italians. I just do not find movies about like gangsters interesting. I don't care. Like I'm not sympathetic to the if it's from their point of view and you know you're trying to sympathize with them like then the Godfather. I'm like I don't care. I like what's his name? Oh my god. Anna, I would don't, Anna can I just can I, interrupt? I don't mean to interrupt you, but some of uh -huh. the greatest the greatest filmmaking and storytelling 
is to get somebody who is completely repulsive and it didn't do it. degenerate and to have you for just a moment i didn't to sympathize and identify with somebody that you are not on any level and somebody that you absolutely think is disgusting but you f- can find that tiny thread of humanity and for a Kelsey. moment for a moment you and that character share a thread of humanity no matter how terrible they are and that is fucking filmmaking and scorsese does that time and time again not and, and, and you know what and you know who else has done that george lucas with 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 darth vader where yeah, you, somebody vader. who has murdered there is no gangster on planet earth who has murdered as many people as vader. he doesn't make me resonate with jabba the hut i sympathize with Darth Vader because it's a father and son and I know what it's like to have a demented parent and try to you know somehow see the good in them because you're biologically inclined to want your parents approval I can relate to Darth Vader in that sense when I watch The Godfather and I see Al Pacino going no like I'm you know in the service I, I'm not going to be a part of this and then he becomes a part of it I'm like dude you're fucking stupid you had the chance to not be a part of it you had the chance to be a good person but instead you didn't you decided to take over the family business I get it your dad's marlon brando and that's awesome but uh no i am not sympathetic to him at all or whatever happens and when his brother dies i'm like well he kind of had it coming for how stupid he is i, I know hear, i doing. honestly i i i hear what you're saying and what i hear is i hate italians mr v for five dollars says cecil as a new yorker and as an italian you are taking this hate really well i applaud <laughs> you my good sir you deserve so much better i know i know Thank you for thank you though. It has uh, nothing to do with me being young, guys. It's a it's a goddamn crime. hate crime, and you keep going. Oh my god, it's not a hate crime. Jack Doubling down, down tripling down. down. Yeah. No. I sin- do not hate Italians. I think it's stupid. If you're gonna get yourself involved in a life of crime, you had the decision to go one way, and instead you chose that way. I'm not sympathetic to you at all because you fucked up your life. So you're yeah, saying they chose, they chose the dark side. And there's no coming back. Oh, unless they're Anakin, which is, seems like a Dutch name, which is a lot more waspy than Italians, I imagine. Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, Jeg for two dollars says no sympathy. It's not about a compelling. It's about compelling stories. It wasn't compelling to me. I thought the whole thing was stupid. When I watch the X Files, that's compelling. When I watch Star Trek, that's compelling. When I watch this, it, when I watch The Godfather, I'm just like, this is boring and painful. Like, I don't care. I really don't care. When he has his, like, the family friend that came to go bring his dad flowers when he was in the hospital. And, you know, Marlon Brando's going to die unless they stand out there pretending to be thugs. I'm like, I'm not sympathetic. You guys It was not a family friend. It was a person who owed him a favor. That (laughs) That man's daughter was raped. And they said, can you kill the guys who raped my daughter? And he said, no, that's not a fair sentence. I will beat them. I will break their legs, but you will owe me a favor. Yeah, and he stands outside for like the night with Al Pacino in like the snow, right? It's been a few years since I saw this movie, but I still, I'm like, I'm not sympathetic. I'm not sympathetic that Marlon Brando, the head gangster guy, got shot. You're a fucking gangster. What do you expect? If an Italian was riding a disabled horse, who (laughs) would be the first to push him over? You, Jeremy, or Jesse? I wonder. (laughs) Probably John, John, I'm sorry you even brought that up. That's what keeps me up at night. How deep does her hate go? Um, I don't hate Italians. I've dated an Italian. I have nothing against Italians. I just no. think the whole gangster stuff is stupid. What do you really think about lasagna? Mm, mm-hmm. I bet you don't even hate Mondays. I don't hate Mondays. I bet. I bet you can build with bricks like no one else. Unbelievable. Oh, wait, no, that's the Italians. Yeah. You know who does hate Mondays? Hmm. A little cat named Garfield. You know what his favorite food is? A lasagna. Yeah, that's right. Because he doesn't hate exactly where you're going. <laughs> she, likes, she, she likes Mondays because that's how much she hates Italians. Oh, she, didn't, she didn't even want to talk about lasagna. That's how much it made her sick. Right. I- 
like lasagna. I love Italian food. I used to be a waitress at an Italian restaurant. I have nothing against Italians. I just don't like movies about gangsters. Like when I was reading the whole thing for Departed, that was about Irish gangsters. I have no, like, it's not compelling me to go watch it. Not at all. If I hear, you know, something about like sci-fi and aliens, yeah, I'll go watch that. If I hear something, oh, this is a gangster movie or an alien movie, I'll go watch an alien movie over a gangster movie any day. Isn't there like just one genre that it's like, I don't want to watch that? Don't you guys have that? Or is it just me? Not all Italian people are gangsters, Anna. And not all Jewish people invented rap. Yeah. I'm talking about The Godfather and what was it? The Departed. Both of those movies are about gangsters. I'm saying that I have watched a lot of other movies that have nothing to do with that. Yeah. Have sense? you have you ever seen Seven Samurai or your Jimbo? I watched Seven Samurai when I was really young. Okay, uh, those got to go both go on your watch list because we're gonna have you ever watched watch. Magnificent Seven? Uh, the older version or the new one? The older one. I believe so. Because I one. I remember the, the the cover of it. I I watched a lot of those with my dad. You know who you Brenner is? Who? Yule Brenner. If I saw his face, let me Google He's him. Bald guy. Okay, that doesn't narrow it down. How do you spell it? Y U L E. No, just U Y U L. Oh, Brenner. I don't know. Sound it out. Oh, Brenner. Oh yeah, he's from uh, the Ten Commandments. Yes, he was, he was the Pharaoh in Ten Commandments. Correct. Yeah. And then, yeah, oh, he's good. And Westworld also, his face. Oh, I loved it. Westworld was so cool. I remember watching that when I was little and like just thinking, wow. And then I like the king and I because the girl had the same name as me. Anna. <laughs> That's right. That's right. She Look did. right, Anna, the king of Cyan. Let's see if we have any more super chats. Anybody who could cut through the hate. Nope. Sorry. Uh, Anna. Pablo Romero says Tarantino is Italian, Anna. Ooh. I don't think you knew that. What does that do to your worldview? Crushes it? Destroys it? Where is she? Are you here, Anna? Uh, she froze. Anna froze. Let's yeah. freeze on her. She dropped out. Yeah. Okay. Good. I, I don't know if we could have taken another hate crime from her before. She how broke long, right at the last minute. How long do the Italians have to be persecuted, John? I don't know what Malin is. I know it might be Vietnamese or something. Like yeah, that. Vietnamese uh, or uh, what are the trailer park of Europe, the Eastern Europe side. Yeah. She dropped off. No more gangster talk. The mafia got Anna. Yeah, I believe it was Kelsey Gotti got her. Where is Kelsey? What the fuck happened to Kelsey? He got stoned as no shit, huh? Yeah, but he, he, even in being stoned, well, he must have chose to keep being stoned. He probably stoned himself into actually doing work is what it probably was. Tim Riggs for four ninety nine says, I have no hate from this dude. I'm completely fucked up on Jameson's right now. Cecil is love. Cecil is life. God bless you. Yeah, this was a fun stream, and I think this doesn't ever have to come down. Yeah, I think it's on. I think it's on the up and up. This might be a permanent. Outside of all of Anna's anti-Italian and Jew. Yeah. Speech. Yeah, I think we're. Sorry, guys, my computer lost it. Oh, head. she's back. All right, sorry. Maybe I don't know I, what maybe happened. we spoke too soon. It might be down. Who knows? What else no, you're gonna my, say my now? Head. Did your guys' work? No, or? no, we're good. Because it says off air. You no, we're, good. we're on air. We're we're live. Are you sure? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all going to hell now. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what happened. We're gonna keep the stream up. Anna, okay, when, when, is, when, is your, when is your guys' show? When are you guys gonna get it going? The three of you. When I can get the other two to lock it down. Oh snap! In your face, Jesse. Well, no, no, no. I they both have really, really busy schedules, so it's like it. 
it's hard to get us all like free at the same time. Yeah, tell Jesse get a haircut. Maybe maybe yeah. she can get a little more free time. Flip your hair on this. That's what I have to say. No, uh, I I I have to finish the art for it for a little like icons because I I need to do that. But um, eventually it'll happen. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. So you think a couple weeks, maybe a month? Um, I hope sooner than that. I, I'm hoping like within like the next couple of weeks, maybe. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Jelly Goblin says this stream is a slow burn to Weirdsville. Thank you. What does that even mean? I don't know, but I feel like it's accurate. <laughs> yeah. If anyone, if anyone feels disappointed in tonight, just blame it on Kelsey. Yeah. yeah. He, he ruined our entire plan for the night. If you want to know how bad this stream is, let me explain. It's staying up. Mm. I don't go. think Mitch is going to call it in and be like, call an audible and be like, we, you know, nuke it. You know, the boss is giving the thumbs up over yeah. here. Huh? Yeah. I think, I think this one's staying up. Bright wiser approved. Cool. Yeah, wholesome. Bring the family, bring the kids, bring don't anybody. Yeah. Bring anyone who hates Italians. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Crank Gorilla says Anna would school you on actual real life. Who? Oh, me? I, I, yeah, I guess you probably you, Cecil. I know more about real life than most people that are dead. I doubt it. SV20 for $2 says I've been radicalized by Anna. Deport all Italians. Oh what my God. Done? No. But I would never friends. eat. Like if they deported all of the Mexicans and Italians, I would starve because I love Mexican food and I love Italian food. You know who likes Portuguese food though? Honestly. Me. Me. No, nobody is the well, answer. Excuse chaos me. Kid, excuse me. Chaos kid. I, I'm trying to read the super chat. <laughs> I know I, I know I'm Sicilian and I know that bothers you, but I'm trying to make a dollar here. I'm please. Sicily is an island. May I please, may I please make a, a, a buck here? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Chaos Kid 24 for 499. God bless you and your and your bigot free heart for even giving this. Anna, I bought a piece from you on Friday night's auction. I'm Italian. Please, Lord. <laughs> Don't send any anthrax with it. Mm. I won't. Don't worry. You know what? Either way, I would shake it off before you put it on a wall. Just Echo in case. Yeah, just in case. Uh, Echo base now. Have someone sample it for you so that way they get the whiff of the chloroform. Mm. There were no there were no famous no there were the art world was never touched by Italians. Forget about Michelangelo or Da Vinci. It's Michelangelo. Echo base network. How dare you? Excuse you. It's like she's, it's like she's never watched a single episode of the Ninja Turtles. Uh, here in is a super chat in support of Anna's hate speech of horses, Italians, Jews, <laughs> and the disabled. Oh my god! Thank you. All right, well, so we, Anna, officially, we officially don't support that. I stand corrected. She does have a fan base. Thank you, Echo Base Network. Yeah, Anna. Oh god. Keep it going. <laughs> oh my God, this is awful. Bob Rogers, Canadian, two dollars. John, uh, John, what's the translation on that? What's that? Like two dollars uh, Canadian. It's just exhausting. I, I mean, them sending you two bucks, it, it's an insult. It says, "Keep this stream going forever, Cecil." I can, but honestly, the hate weighs down on a man's soul. Oh, Barb has super chatted a few times. She's probably added up. I recognize the. Uh, no, she's she, she's she's mailed me booze. That she's tops. She's top of the list. I got a little bit of booze left here. Am I? I can't even tell if I'm on screen anymore. Am I on screen? Oh my god! Sometimes I forgot how handsome I am. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Booker T is in the chat. Uh, hey, Booker T, looking jacked. He used, to, he used to tell us that all the time. He made us all feel good when we'd show up on a stream. Never told me that once. Not even one really? time has he ever said that to me. He never what? told you you were looking jacked? No. And I wouldn't have believed him if he ever said it. I'm flabby uh, as fuck. It's a compliment, see? So you just, you know, accept it. He's a positive guy. Like a motivational speaker. Julep, stop it. 
Honestly, I'm, I'm I, I honestly do. Uh, you guys were speaking about veal before, and I do, I do honestly envy the, their exercise regimen. You have stairs that you have to go up every time you do a stream. God, that's why I keep this thing going. At some point, I have to climb them again. <laughs> uh, Matt Becker for two dollars says, "Could you make this?" Hold on a second. Oh, I, I, could I you think make you skipped this... a few. The last of the rest of my tall boy. Okay, we can finish your tall boy. Yeah, why not? Tim Riggs for four ninety nine says, "Don't you think there's something to be said about Sicilians still living on an island?" God damn, I'm wasted. I need to go to bed. I think you yeah. skipped a few, Cecil. Did I really? People are yeah. still. Uh, keep the stream going, Anna. What's your? Oh, Anna. What's your? Uh, uh, Athena P says, Anna. What's your ethnicity? You look Italian. I see that flag right behind me. There you oh, go. you have a flag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, you guys. That's an, old, that's an old fashioned Nazi flag. If anybody, no, anybody who's just listening and can't see, she's got the old German flag. No, I have uh, the flag of Portugal behind me because my father is Portuguese from the Azores. Oh. And then my mother is, We did. I did the ancestry DNA. So my mother is Scandinavian on her mother's side. And then my grandfather was adopted. So he has Scottish, Welsh, Irish, and Native American. So that is my ethnicity. I'm a mix of all that. Wow. But I'm 56% Portuguese. So I'm mostly from Portugal. Well, the most important thing is you look Italian, and that's all that really matters. You mean I look Portuguese? Um, that, you look, that you look at, you look how you hate or at what you hate. Yep. And that way you can always remind. No, no. If I looked look what I hair. hated, then I would have you know blonde hair and green eyes, like my much, mother. much like the episode Mirror Mirror. You no. are a reflection of what you hate, and clearly. No, it's not a reflection of what you hate. That's a, a reflection of the worst possible uh outcome you could possibly be so and you're saying uh, being italian is the worst possible no possible. the worst possible outcome I'm, i could be every fucking time i give you a chance to dig yourself out of a hole you go no. three feet deeper not even um uh could you make the rest of my toll boy don't you think there's something to be said about a sicilian yeah, that's me uh I can't wait to see how the sjws will twist this and take this live stream out of context i love you guys Good job trying to keep Anna in check, Cecil. I'm trying, honestly. I, <laughs> honestly, it's like wrestling Hitler. No offense. Oh my God. Um, well, honey, well to Hitler. No offense, not you or not I, I, Ava Braun. That's what I meant. Mm. Uh, uh, well, hung and dung. Uh, two euros says the Merchant of Venice is Anna's favorite movie. Anna, no, not. it's a great film. It's got uh, uh, Al Pacino. Oh shit, she wouldn't like that. Al Pacino, he's an uh, Italian. But I anyway, love Al Pacino. I just don't like Kingston. It is. It is a Shakespearean play, and it is about bigotry. And I don't think you would get the. I movie. love Shakespeare, Do you but know? I don't. Yeah, I go to the Ashland, Oregon Shakespeare Festival. Yeah, she likes to shake a spear, shake the blood off of it after she stabbed. Oh please. Uh, Tyler Preston, name? excuse me, I'm talking. Excuse Preston, you. Tyler Preston for five dollars says, "Sup, you guys? Can't sleep, so here's some shekels." Also, Anna, I bought myself a couple of Aragon. Thanks for your recommendation. You're welcome. All right. What's Aragon? Some sort of hate newspaper? It's a book, Cecil. Uh, it's about dragons, bad. and it's awesome. My bad. Sorry. All right, well, hold on. My beer is still, I got a little bit left. I still got some. I've been oh, sipping. Man. I normally drink beers in about a minute. <laughs> Damn. Here we go. Yeah, Hitler's not a fair comparison because Hitler actually loved the Italians. Yeah, he loved Mussolini. <laughs> yeah. And it, Mussolini and went like this. Anna has nothing but hatred for Italians, so that's oh, not fair God. at all. This is my most. are awful. You know, this is my Mussolini. You know, I, I did uh, greatly appreciate when uh, Antonio Banderas was in that Mussolini movie because uh, Antonio Banderas. Was, yeah. But that, that movie, was even though it's like it had to be uh, dubbed over, uh, 
I, I liked Antonio Banderas, but the movie wasn't very good. Yeah, he was the man in Desperado. Yeah, also. also yeah, um, and and he was also in in uh, Interview with the Vampire. He almost made out with Brad Pitt. Uh, like I always say this, I'm like, I need to make a meme of it. It's like, I want a man to look at me the way Antonio Banderas looks at Brad Pitt. It's like, mm. uh, let me let me get this real fast. No, I hear you. I want a man to look at me the same way too. Yeah. What? Who the hell is this? Oh, here it is. See? Antonio Banderas. I like it? him in that movie where he's a uh, mariachi. I can't remember the name of it. What is he, a pirate? Where he's a pirate. Hmm? Where he's Zorro? Oh. What's the movie where he's a mariachi player? Um... Mm -hmm. El Mariachi. That's the one. Desperado. No, the El Mariachi is the original independent one. Desperado's the uh, full on. That and Once Upon a Time in Mexico, I think. I like mm -hmm. the one that uh, has Tom Cruise in it and it doesn't have El, uh, Antonio Banderas at all, but it has Penelope Cruz also. And it's like a. a Penelope Sky? Yes. I hate that movie. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cecil. I'm hot of hate. <laughs> yes. Just, I'll see you in another life when we're both cats. I'm just like, uh, uh, God, this is awful. I feel yeah. like Cecil probably has a picture of Anna on a board <laughs> and it's just going to, the eyes are getting gouged out tonight. Throwing darts at it. I'm sorry. Apparently yeah. Cecil and I have the exact opposite taste in movies. I think you broke him right there <laughs> on the Vanilla Sky one. He's like, that's it. This you like sure. Vanilla Sky? No, I, I haven't seen it. Don't do it to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Cecil, no, you've heard no, of it. I, you know, I, I mean, largely, I, you know, I, I do like Godfather, but I, I don't know if I would call it the greatest film of all time. Um, Hold on. We have a few more super chats before I go. Did I just break you, Cecil? Shush. Oh man, he Jag for five dollars says Anna hates Italians. Oh my god, because they remind her that poor could Portuguese are part Moorish and she oh. hates any Africans. Stop mm. the hate, Not Anna. True. stop the hate, Anna. Go ride a horse. Uh, xenophobic says Anna hates more stuff than Malin. Yeah, that's record breaking there. <sighs> I don't I mean, I don't think so. This is a man who tells children to get off his lawn and he doesn't have a lawn. He lives in an apartment. <laughs> Aww. If there was a nondescript person on top of a disabled horse, who would be the first one to push it off, Anna? You, Jeremy, Jesse, or me? I think Jesse cuz Jesse's one of those people that like when she gets a challenge she has to do it. Wrong. The I, answer I, is Anna because she because in I know the person was nondescript but she would push the person anyway just in case they were Italian. I I would push you all over like dominoes um and then push over the horse. Bob Rogers for Canadian $2 says love it all adds up. Mhm. Mm yeah. I think so, uh, Barb Rogers. I don't know. Why don't you let a little love into your heart? I do. I have a dog, and I have a boyfriend, and I have a stepdaughter, and I have a dad. There you go. There's all the love. Anna, that's amore. Yeah. Sorry, that's Italian. That I just. I know it's Italian, and you know why I know that word? Because I watched it in Lady and the Tramp. There you go. Uh, Cameron Thomas uh, wants me to teach you to hate the hate. Yeah, you, know, you you have to love, love, and hate, hate. Oh, hold on, my dog is crying. That's how. That's how you don't learn. Come on. That's what we call a cheap excuse to no. stay in your bigotry. Come here, Bubba. Uh, Sierra Whiskey says, "I only love tiny dogs." Oh, she is little. She's little. I'm just. How old is your Pekingese, John? Um, uh, like eleven or twelve. She's getting up there. Yeah. Does she eat human food? Um, 
yeah, little scraps here and there, but largely her her food is you know cans from the vet. John, 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 John. Before you answer, when she says human food, she means do you feed her humans? Oh <laughs> no, no, she's a monster. Oh my god, no, because every time I meet people that have Pekingese, the first thing they ask me is like, "Does she a picky eater?" And I'm like, "Yes." Mm -hmm. I met this one couple that were walking, and the 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 guy he told uh, my boyfriend he's like oh yeah he's like my dog i had to spoon feed her for the first four years and then i gave her like i guess he got the dog stoned and now she'll eat anything but <laughs> every time i meet somebody that has a peek in these they always comment on how picky their dogs are yeah that's <laughs> funny because i just saw your dog was giving you a lot of licks and like my dog will barely ever give us any kind of lick oh that's because you're not human number one hmm. john's a werewolf by the way, Tyler Preston for two dollars says Fight Club is completely overrated. That is, I hate Fight Club. Oh my God! I'm everything sorry. about, you, everything sorry. about you is wrong. What a wonderful Hazel, movie! I thought that that was one of the worst. Okay, I love Edward Norton. I think he's phenomenal. But in that movie, I was like, it, you can figure it out within like the first couple of minutes. I'm just like, this is so painfully obvious what's going on. And just as it got on further, I'm just like, <sighs> and I just got more disappointed. And then the ending, I'm like, this is the worst in. All right. So we're going to wrap it up tonight. John, I want to thank you for being here. Oh, what happened? Did Anna just bounce? Oh, did she go? I didn't even notice. So it happened. What happened? Did you boot her? No, I don't know what happened. Oh. She she cut out. Oh. Um. Anyway, Anna, sorry about that. If you just left, she she was having power problems. I think. Oh, right on. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Anyway, thank everybody for being here. Uh, John, Anna, Anna, if you're listening, please. Uh, thank you for being here, uh, Kelsey. If you're listening, and he's not listening. Yeah, we hate you, Kelsey. Yeah, fuck Kelsey. Yeah, um, you better come back and stay the whole night, you wuss, and no more weed. Yeah, no more weed. Let's get booze. Let's get yeah. it fucking on. Come on, stop it. Yeah, uh, everyone go check out Monster MD on Indiegogo by Von Klaus. Monster MD. I uh, I haven't supported that yet, but I actually... Uh, I think Anna is in chat and accusing you of booting her. No, no, I didn't. Ha she what? wrote rude. No, I did not boot her. Uh, Eric S. says you kicked her. No, I did not kick her. Huh. This anyway, is a, this is a conspiracy. I don't yeah. know. She, you might, she might have broke you. So, no, so. no, no. I, I enjoy her movie reviews. Um, no, honestly, I didn't kick her. I don't know what happened. Oh, Anna, you should be able to pop back in if you wanted to. Then, oh, um, let, let me resend her the link. Uh, what? No, she has the link, right? She can't uh, come back. Uh, Rodwell Stevens says, kick out hate. <laughs> no, I'm not kicking out hate. She's Ooh, sorry. Anna said, yeah, you did. She said you booted her. Okay, so I booted her. <laughs> did you really, Cecil? I didn't That's know. Rotten. Can, I didn't oh, know. She, dude, yeah, she said she's blocked. Oh, uh, how do I unblock? I did, I did that as a joke. I didn't know she. You can't. You back. can't. You can't invite people back in. They need to have a different account after. Oh them. shit! And I'm sorry. I thought that would be just funny because you were just going off on Fight Club. <laughs> Cecil, terrible. I'm sorry. I didn't know that. Honestly, I thought that would be just funny, and she'd pop back in. Um, Anna, I apologize. I love Anna. Anna, thank you for being on. Yeah, I'm an asshole, but we had to wrap this up anyway. It's fucking 4 a.m. Yeah, we had to wrap it up. Uh, all right, I'm the asshole. I apologize. Oh, she said, F you, Cecil. Holy shit, did she really say, fuck yeah. you? God, well, damn. she's no, she said, F you, like actual F you, the letters. Oh, okay. And uh, uh, some people in chat are applauding you, though. They said it was too much hate. Pablo Romero art. Listen, I don't like to censor hate speech. Hate speech is free speech, but there's a limit. Matt Becker says she's not Nasser. Yeah, she's not Nasser. No, no, no. And I'll never do that again. Honestly, I did that thinking you'd be able to pop back in. I I, I did that as a little bit of a joke. I, I love you, and I, I'm sorry I did that. Uh, Indie David Comics just throw uh, five bucks at me with, for no reason at all, except to say hello. I love you for doing that. Everybody, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this shit up right now. 
And honestly, I apologize. I did that as a joke thinking you'd be able to pop back in. Everybody, uh, first of all, John Malin, God bless you. Thank you for always coming on. You're always uh, my anchor, my yeah, support. Yeah, just remember, Cecil might be able to kick Anna from the stream, but he can't take away that check mark next to her name. That's God, for yeah. life. Anna's the best. I didn't. I wouldn't have done that if I thought she couldn't pop back in. Love anyway, she gave a devil head, dude. She's so fired up. I I love you, Anna. I'm sorry I did that. I'm sorry that you. You better get her PO box and mail her something. I'll mail her something. Yeah. Uh, All right, guys. Yeah, everyone have a good night. Thanks, for John Malin. Uh, I thank you. You are my rock. You are my support. You are my redeemer. You're always there <laughs> for me. I appreciate. I appreciate that. Always keeping me in check. Anna, you are honestly uh, keep speaking of keeping my ass in check. Anna is the person that keeps us off the rails. We need her more than anyone. Yeah, Anna, we, Anna is a is a trooper for yeah. sure. Anna and, uh, is the reason. Honestly, we don't just spiral into complete degeneracy. We Anna is the guiding light for yeah. the, our streams. She keeps us from being complete assholes, and I appreciate her. And I am sorry that I booted her. I didn't think. I never booted anybody for it before. I never, I didn't realize you couldn't come back on. So I apologize. I love you, Anna. Everybody who hasn't subbed that Star Wars girl, Anna, please do. Everybody who hasn't subbed John Malin, John, what's your name of your channel? Uh, just look up John Malin. Yeah. Sub him, buy everything he sells. Same with Anna. And uh, even though Kelsey passed out or got really fucked up on weed tonight, you know, support yeah. him and his endeavors. Uh, Anna, I, Anna forgives. She doesn't forget. She forgives. I love you, Anna. I'm sorry. I did. I did a joke thinking you could pop on. I would never do that to you without knowing you would come on. Uh, goodbye, all. And uh, oh, Jesus Christ! It's four. It really is four in the fucking morning. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, you're back. Okay. <laughs> back in. Yeah, I have a different account now. Oh snap! All uh, right, Anna. I'm sorry. I didn't know you couldn't come back in. Are you back? Okay. Well, let, let's resolve this. How much do you yeah, hate Cecil right now? Sorry, I had the chat open with volume. How dare you? How much do you hate Cecil right now? Anna? On a scale from one, on a scale from Judas Sicilian, how much do you hate me? Judas. Holy shit. She, uh, <laughs> Cecil reduced you to being a female Nasser now because that's what used to happen with Nasser. No, and then, and I, then I, he would I, pop in on a second account. Anna. If you, were you? if you were listening, I was professing my love to you, and I was saying how wonderful it's you easy are. to do that when the person's not there. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot easier to do it when the person's not there. <laughs> Somebody says you can't stop Anna. Very true. It's true. I, I yeah. do. No, honestly, you are like the guiding light because honestly, we would slip into complete degeneracy without you here. Mm. We need you here. Oh my like, gosh, people are saying boot boot me again. No, no, <laughs> dude, that's that's a Nasser thing. See, they're they're trying to turn you into the next Nasser. I'll never, I'll How never dare you, you again. I didn't know it. I didn't I didn't know that about being booted. I didn't know that. Um how dare you? I didn't know you can't come back in. I thought I would just like cut you off mid-sentence. Yeah, yeah, again. you did because you couldn't uh stand the heat for well, what was that awful movie we were talking about? Oh, yeah, we weren't Club. talking about an awful movie. We were talking about Fight Club, which is a massive Yeah, and then a very boring movie. I understand how some people can like it, but no. Mm. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There, There's plenty of bad movies that I like. So, But these aren't bad movies. These are literally masterpieces. Like Lazy okay. Saddles. That's a good movie. Yeah, see, that's a bad movie you like. Yeah, oh, I mean, John does not like Blazing Saddles. He doesn't. Yeah. Well, I mean, I I like the movie Waterworld, and I know that you know. I, I like Waterworld. Well, I know a lot it gets of a lot people of hate, but say it's that's not a good movie. I don't think it's a bad movie. I don't know. I guess I'd have to kind of really give it a like an objective view. Well, I, see, I'm biased. I love Kevin Costner, so it's like. Where do they keep getting gas for their fucking jet skis? There's a lot of questions the to that tanker, movie. But, a big uh, tanker that they blew up at the end when they dropped yeah, the match down it. Yeah, Cecil, did you watch this movie? I did. That's an oil tanker, not a gasoline tanker. Oh, yeah, I guess, yeah. You yeah, have to refine it. Yes. Where's the refinery? Uh, in one of the other rooms. It's, ma <laughs> it's magic. This is a movie about a dude that has gills. So uh, let's... 
it, it's one of those movies that, yeah, a majority of the world thinks it's a bad movie, but I enjoy that movie. There's plenty of bad movies that I like, and I understand that people that like The Godfather and people that like Fight Club, they're, they, they like movies that I don't like, and I'm completely fine with that. Just like And, movies, and even though this slips by a lot of people, I like to point out the little girl in Waterworld is the girl from Napoleon Dynamite. It That's is. true, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Hey, All so right. I'm glad you came back, Anna, because I honestly felt it in my in my heart that I that I did you wrong by kicking you. Good. Good. Uh, <laughs> and I thank I, I I will thank John again, who I just thanked. He is uh, my rock and my redeemer. And uh, and uh, uh, Anna, you are our anchor, and you are our our moral compass. It keeps us from get you keep us from getting too filthy and too degenerate. Nah, yeah. You haven't drunk enough. And we need that. <laughs> All right. Let's no. see if maybe next time we can get Kelsey in here for a full night and get him off the weed and back on the booze. Yeah, back on the fucking booze. Uh, we, such a downer tonight. The devil's, party the devil's cabbage. All right. We have, let me see, uh, four more fucking. Uh, okay. Somebody says kick the hate. Guys, if we talked about movies I liked, I would be talking with pure love, but we're talking about movies I don't like. That's true. I feel like that's very normal for people. Like, she, if somebody were to talk about something that you can't stand, of course you're going to be negative towards it. Or if you something that you love. She loves Waterworld, everyone. Um, uh, somebody applauded you earlier, Anna. Sorry, I don't remember who it was in chat, as uh, being a bigger contrarian than I am. Mm. So, yeah, congratulations. Well, John, naturally she disagrees. Yeah. Um, I, I disagree. I just said, oh, thank you. Tyler Preston for $2 says Fight Club is completely overrated. That's what that started, that whole thing. Indie Dave Comics for $5. No comment, just saying what up. For $2, he said, check out Oddity. Oh, that's his comic book, by the way. And it's a very good looking comic book. Oddity by Indie Dave Comics. Go check it out. Mm -hmm. And Matt Becker, the final super chat of the evening says, I still got a tall boy left. I can't help you. drink that. it. Drink uh, Mor Mortal V says that was him that said that. Uh, you just you need to finish it. So, hey, it. stop it! In your face, Cecil. No, yeah. I'm talking to my dog. Yeah, she's talking to you like a dog, Cecil. Unbelievable! I'm talking to my little Pekingese prince. Mama Mia! I don't oh. What about. we have to go through in this country. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. All right, everybody. Say good, Anna, you want to plug anything? Everybody sub that Star Wars girl. Anna, everybody sub John Malin. And by Graveyard yeah. Shift 2, coming soon. To a yeah, uh, July 16th, I believe it is, is our launch date. So that's mm. firm. And uh, so save your money, guys. We'll have we'll have some cool offerings there. So, and thanks. July 5th is my lunch date. So if you want to just send any more money, I would like to get a steak. Where are you go. going? I am going to the old homestead in uh, Lower East Side of Manhattan. No, Lower West Side. I should have rephrased my question. What kind of restaurant is it? It's a steakhouse. Oh, yeah. You, oh. Steakhouse. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. Goodbye, everybody.